Elkie was waiting to come back to the final table. Fedor holds things. Oh my god. Michael Adamo is the best. Welcome everybody, happy Tuesday, how's it going? Welcome back to the GG YouTube channel. It of course is the Super Millions Show. I am your host, Kevin Martin, and we're ready to rock. I'm amped up, can you sense my energy today? I'm excited for this one. Welcome back. Every Tuesday, of course, you guys join me and we sit, we observe, we feel. As a community, we look and sense the best that online poker has to offer at the Super Millions final table. This tournament's no joke. It's one of the best in the business. 10K buy-in. They're always playing for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Previous shows have been lit. We've seen some crazy final table play. We've had some awesome guests. I think today is going to meet that standard. You notice my surroundings are a little bit different right now. I am broadcasting from the great state of Texas. Tell you what, if you haven't played poker in Texas, I didn't get a chance to live through the first poker boom. I feel like there might be some magic happening here. People are thriving in the poker community. There is some life, there's some energy surrounding the game. So I'm very optimistic. I'm enjoying my time here in Texas before I head back to Canada. And also joining me on today's show is a legend of the game. By the way, StarCraft legend as well. I'm a low key StarCraft fan for many years. We're definitely gonna get into all that. Let me welcome you to the show, the legend. Bertrand Grospelier, it is Elki joining me today. Elki, how you doing? Hey, Kevin, I'm great, man. How are you? It's awesome to be I'm here. I'm thriving, man. I'm thriving. It's great to see your face again. Elki, you've been in the poker years, for, you know, poker scene for many years, an all-time legend. How many How many years is your career coming up to? When, when's the first year, year you played the game? 18 years. 18 years, actually. Pretty sick. You know, wow. I had to make the I video think... for the Hall of Fame, and I was like, oh my god, I've been playing poker for 18 years. How sick is that? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like then... It doesn't feel like 18. It feels much less, but... It's been 18 years. It's awesome to have you. Last week we had another French crusher, uh, Julian Martini. Really enjoyed the show with him. But you know, I'm looking at the Hendon Mob right now, and the all-time French crushers. You're sitting, uh, you're sitting number one, Elki. All-time, all-time live earnings from France at 15 million dollars. So you know, just, I gotta ask you, are you better than Julian Martini? Is this enough? Uh, I don't know if I'm better, but I earn more. I've been playing for longer, but uh, he's a good friend of mine, a really great guy and an awesome player. He's definitely like, uh, he's definitely much better in cash game and uh, mixed game and in tournaments. I don't know, but let's see. <laughs> Both crushers, we're gonna have a great show. We see you all in the GG YouTube chat. Great to see you guys. If you can start us off with a thumbs up and a sub to the channel, that would really help. But let's get the cards in the air. Let's check out our final table, playing for $425,000 for first this week. Massive prize, of course, the glory, the title, the super millions. Let's jump down and check out the players we got playing with today. And I got the list here. My goodness, we got some killers that some, some people just crush, Elki. Some people just crush. And as they are doing the old final table switcheroo here, and we kind of digest the scenes here, the players. And anyone stand out to you right away? What are a couple of names that uh, that pop off the screen? I mean, of course, uh, Chidwick, right? Stevie? Uh, Andras Nemeth and Yui Zivieleski. They're probably the... Free one, definitely the free ones I know the most. Why I've been playing with them for so many years, I can't even like. Actually, I was playing with TV like back in like 2005 or six, I think. Really, 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 uh, one of the most old school players uh, as well. And he's been like crushing and being on top of the game for so many years now. I can't even count anymore. Yeah, I mean that that's the first name that I I really was like, oh, we got Stephen Chidwick at this final table. I'd love to see it. Stephen Chidwick. Some people regard him as as one of the best, if not the best, tournament players right now. He's definitely in that conversation. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely stuff, right? They're also they're also good, especially nowadays. Like the top 10, 20 players, they're also good. It's hard to compare skill levels, but it's definitely like up there like one of the best i would agree there he's, he's so sick but he's rocking the short stack right now you can see him kind of jumping around the table here with a couple of the switcheroos he's got 600k and i gotta say so far you know we've had a couple super million show coming into the final tables the chips have been kind of close but today this is a different start the board is set up in a different way today because we can notice the two chip leaders op pikachu sitting at four million and then d miko 
the stone chip leader, 7.3 million. So it's like, really, we got a story of, you know, the rich are really rich coming here to start this final table. It's going to be interesting to see how the short stacks navigate. Maybe, you know, maybe they, they wait for a couple ladders, but we have a really a, 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 a top heavy chip distribution here to start today's final table. And here we go. Cars yeah, but are But there might be more action air. because the free short stacks, they're kind of closer to each other, right? So it might bring some more action because it, because of the short stacks are so close. Like if there was like one clear short stacks and, and most of the mediums, and it's usually like much tighter pace because uh, nobody can take risk. But now like Chidwick, Memukur and Morgotas, they're pretty much like the same stacks. So um, if there are opportunities, they might be a little bit more likely to take it. I love this. Cards are in the air. Again, first place, four hundred. $25,000. I just love the super millions, man. The super millions, the, the previous shows have not disappointed. I figure, you know, once in a while, maybe we'll have like a bit of a slower, a bit of a dud final table come up, but thankfully we've been able to avoid that. Mm, I think that. it's and not going to happen much, man. This tournament is nah. like sick. It's like the toughest online tournament for sure. And there's like so many crushers and the final tables, they're always like, they're always really exciting and, uh, and tough feel. And they always bring it. And you see some really creative lines and some people take some spots that, you know, I don't really see happen in my games as much. People really, really, really bring uh, the spice. And here we go. I mean, the chip leader is going to eat right out of the gate, winning the first pot with the ace, eight of diamonds, a nine, ten suited. Uh, I mean, with all those chips, we're going to be seeing a lot of the action uh, being driven from D Miko here. Yeah, it's definitely two for like two. The, best spot, the best spot ever. It's really hard for uh, most of the players to play back at him just because of the ICM, right? They were like, everybody was like two million chips or they can't really, uh, they can't really do much. Now look at this. I mean, this is a this is a god given spot for Stephen Chickwick yeah, to really double up and get back. And seven percent to double up for, for Stephen yeah. Chickwick here, yeah. Ace Queen's not going to fold. It's interesting. We have pocket eights in the yeah. small yeah, blind. Yeah, it's actually a, a close spot, spot for, for Pandora Box, but I think he probably has to fold. I think he'll probably fold. Ace King, all of it. Stephen Chidwick. I'm sure the rest of the players would be okay if Stephen Chidwick like exited the final table in ninth. They would be pretty all right with that. Get the ladder, feel a little more comfortable. One of the game's best is eliminated. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's, it's always uh, it's it's definitely nobody wants to see about him double up right because he's gonna have like much more opportunity. Here we go. Ace King, Ace Queen, eights do hit the muck. Got a strong advantage for the ace king here. Safe so far. Backdoor spades. Oh, now the jack has appeared as one of the outs. Stephen Chidwick, life on the line. He's safe. Double up 1.3 million. That's a great spot for Stephen Chidwick to get his final table action going. The other short stacks just, you know, they hate to see that. Uh, there you go. A little chink in the armor for a chip leader. Oh. Elke, tell us what this A7 is getting after. What do you think about this from under the gun? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit loose. I mean, it's because of the cheap leader, with his cheap leader and his and his stack, it's a bit more understandable. But it's still quite, it's quite loose. It's quite loose, I think. And definitely, he's gonna run into kings now. But he's, I think he's gonna be able to get away fairly easily. Um, this is this is how sick this final table is. Andrus Nemeth is here. We haven't even called his name yet. Andrus Nemeth is has really impressed me. Second place last week at the Super Millions. Lost an intense heads up battle. I cannot speak the praises for Andrus. Oh, he got second last week. Sick. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, see. I was yeah. Cash last week show unfortunately, but uh, who won last week? He lost this. Uh, he looked. It looked like he was going to win, but he just lost this this grueling heads up match uh, with Alex. Um, and Andrus Nemeth is just like I. If you could pick me, like, if I could have one player's action for the rest of eternity, the combination of how sick he is and how much volume he puts in, you know, Andrus Nemeth is just an absolute killer. So he's sitting at three million as well. Pandora's box, raise and take it. Let's go, Elki. Elki, have you ever taken the, what's what's your uh, what's your personal history in the Super Millions tournament? Uh, I found table twice. I think I got fifth and seventh. So you've yeah. been in the mix. I mean, two final. I've been, tables, I've been so. in the mix. I haven't played for a while, but I've been playing. Well, I've been playing quite a bit of them at the, at the in the earlier days, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have uh, played this tournament. How about twice. you? When are you gonna? I you think, play twice? You play yeah, twice? two times. I definitely two times. I'm the still... special edition when there's special edition. You know that the mm -hmm. uh, the boys special edition, or they have like a lot of special edition on GG, like five million guaranteed. Or I can't, I can't help myself out to get in there. <laughs> 
To, to me, this tournament, as we see the King four off, pretty easy raise as the chip later on the button. Is Mr. Chidwick going to defend the 6-5 off here? I would imagine so for the min raise, but no, it just releases. Um, it's a concept at yeah, final tables you see, especially easier, as easier they... to defend if he had like if he had like 12 blinds, it's much easier to defend. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's like with like 25 blinds, it's kind of annoying. He's never going to be really have any flop that is. You don't really want to get in when there's two guys with like 10 blinds or less, right? Yeah. Bad spot for the ace nine off. So it goes for the min raise, and Stephen Chidwick is going to have to something to say about it. I think Stephen Chidwick is just all in, right? Two short stacks. We got the ace queen with implied pressure. All the uh, chips have moved not, in the middle. Free bet is pretty much the same in the situation because, especially yeah. because it's against two short stacks, is never folding anyway, right? And that is going to be, I mean, for, you know, also one of the favorite, one of my favorite things about the Super Millions final table is the uh, the betting mechanic. Before the final table starts, you can bet on the players who you think is going to make, you know, tell you what, the people who have bet on Stephen Chidwick have to be pretty pleased with this start. He came in with 500,000, basically has essentially tripled up the stack to 1.5 million. Could be some trouble here, though, with the King Jack suited dominated hand. He's definitely going to play it. The question is, is it a call or a three bet? Yeah, you know it's definitely he's going crushing to uh, OP Pikachu range, right? Because OP Pikachu is like kind of also his first spot to open. So you think he will open pretty wide because Mikolaitis never gave him a chance so far in this final table almost. So there it is. He does come in for the three bet. I, I really like the play. It's just not going to work. OP Pikachu is going to stuff it back in his face for the all in. Um, yeah, it's just unlucky right. timing, right? Just, just the perfect hand, just to stuff it in the middle here with the ace king off. So, Elky, man, it's it's good to see you again. Elky, and, Elky, and I have we've we've interacted loosely through the years, different events, you know, different different events throughout the poker world. I haven't been able to hang out with you recently, though. Yeah, we so, never played know, so like, much. Uh, we never played live, right? Did we? Oh, we've been well, in the not... same tournaments, but we've never been at. But the we same never played table. at the same table, right? Okay, good. Yeah, never. <laughs> There was one maybe sit and go that we played together way back when. I mean, my my memory. I'm thinking back to like 20, 2015 and and oh, it yeah, feels like a different eternity there. ago. Yeah, yeah. What are you what are, what are you up to right now? What's 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 your next year? Oh, is Andrew Namath finds the aces under wow, the gun. He, yeah. Uh, Not many other hands behind though. Yeah, unfortunately for him, he's gonna get. He's just gonna steal the blinds probably. Maybe Pandora box would call, but probably not. I can't see anybody. Uh, calling in this spot. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you at the GG uh, party, showed the GG party in Las Vegas, at the World Series, and uh, also saw you a couple other times at the World Series. How much How much poker are you playing this year? What's your kind of schedule look like? Uh, we're going to play the upcoming uh, tournament in Prague, right? And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then the, some tournament like Kings in Rosvadov, and then definitely the World Series. World Series is definitely what I'm looking for the, the most, of course. Uh, WSOP in Vegas and uh, finally coming back with a regular schedule in May. And All right, when are you coming? Are you coming for the main event this year or are you going to play like a bunch of events or? Yeah, the, it's tough with the World Series. Pocket 10 is going to find a nice shove spot, gets it through. Memo cool off the short stack. I, as long as I'm in the poker world, which is I'm going to be in the poker world for a long time, that's the plan. Uh, I want to play the main event. You can't miss yeah. the main event. It's the WSOP yeah, main, main event. event. I mean, the yeah. main event is definitely the one that nobody can miss, right? It's like, yeah. But even if I'm Ooh, not in the is... world, I think I would never miss it. Like I was saying, like even if I retire one day, I'll never miss the main event. Like it's just like yeah, exactly. such a special energy and something about this WSOP main event that you just never want to miss. This is an interesting spot here. Jack Ten suited shoves nine and a half big lines. And we're going to see what Andrus Namath is going to do here with the sevens. Kind of on the line, he quickly gets yeah. it in. And we have an old-fashioned flip for a million chips. Is this our first elimination? Sevens versus Jack-10 suited. Unlikely to be now. Huge start for <laughs> Jack-10 suited. Just got it. Hey, that's your face, <laughs> Elton. <laughs> and double up for me, Mokuru. Yeah. Pocket sevens, aka what I call the GG nuts. I feel like sevens are just always win on GG poker. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that was not a case that supports my hypotheses that it's the best hand in the game as the sevens go down and Memicool. So we've already seen this a couple short stacks to start this final table. Steven Chidwick has found the double, Memicool has found the double. And uh, the, the big boys, the chip leaders, haven't been able to expand on their lead just yet. 
huge flip for the Jack-10 suited. Oh, this could be very interesting. Strong yeah, top pair for the enough. King Queen. And we also have an open-ended straight draw from the chip leader. This could be action. I, I have a sense that the 3 5 might play aggressively. Oh, wow. Check back, from, big uh, blind. check back from Yui. Pretty uh, interesting check back. Definitely uh, tricky there. That is a very strong check back. And now, what does the chip leader do with the 3 5 offsuit? I think betting our check raising, they're both pretty good in this spot. Mm hmm. Goes for the big size. It's almost pot. King Queen after checking back flop. I mean, just has to kind of love this situation. Yeah, it's what it's what he was inducing, right? He was inducing the the uh, gut shot, right? Like he was a is ten is ten is king, and probably like like yeah, king ten king nine. He's gonna have a lot of those cards that he's uh, that he's losing to, but he could bluff off. But he decided to check it. Yeah, that run out a lot. I mean, some some other river cards come out, and we can see the three five really go for it. But the running jacks is just going to be so good for the in position player that you see the chip leader just uh, just give up on that bluff. Nice paw, king queen. Oh, some good candidates here. Some nice suited hands. We we'll see you all in the GG YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us every Tuesday. Of course, we're running the Super Million Show. I'm, I'm, I'm on the road this week, away, usually broadcasting from Canada, but we're from Texas this week. Oh, it's Texas. Actually, Texas is one of the few places in the world where I haven't played poker. Oh, Austin, Texas. Wow, so massive for, flop it here. Just, it, just, it just happened, right? Uh, poker in Texas. So, wow, massive. Yes. This is a massive, massive, massive spot. A7 of clubs with the nut flush draw and OP Pikachu flops a yeah, pretty we keep, nutted like, hand we with the queen 10. Like, we min bet this, uh, this board like 1 8 spot. Pretty interesting line. I might definitely can fold and now Pikachu. I think he has to check raise here. Turning into a really interesting it's hand here. Weird. The small yeah, mid, is this, is, this is funky. It's, it's, yeah, his hand is kind of face up, but on the other hand, you can just let two people like in for like one eight of the pot. Right. Yeah, that small min bet gets the peel from the ace jack of diamonds. And there is the check raise, but it's not big. I, I'm so interested. What does Steven Chidwick do here with the ace seven of clubs? And he cannot fold, that's for sure. Yeah, that's not an option. Does decide just to call. Oh, Turn wow. Turn card, wow. Call and bings a flush. Steven Chidwick with and the now nut Pikachu flush here. Like not even one pot size bet. He is definitely have to put it on this, on this, especially it's so on this turn, right? Because he doesn't want uh, Chidwick to have like a pair and a, and a, and a club. And I think it's, it's going to go... Yeah, he's gonna all in here. Ball. Oh, small bet from OP Pikachu. And now Chibik is definitely going to call. So this is, I tell you what, just, just with the min bet on the flop, this, this, this hand is very, very, very interesting. Just calls. So Steven Chidwick avoids the full house. And now OP Pikachu with their hand. I mean, they got to think that it's getting pretty thin at this point. Especially on this run out, flushes are there. Yeah, King I mean, it's is there. Thin, Ace the pot is so big 10. already, right? It is only like mm -hmm. not even less than half the pot. So it's. Uh... Tell you what, not surprised to see that check there. OP Pikachu love in their hand on the flop, not so much on this run out. Steven Chidwick is just going to put it in, and OP Pikachu is going to be in a bit of a nasty spot. But, you know, the, the yeah, 620K, 1.4 million. With, with the pot odds that he will get in this. So tough because Chibik is not bluffing much, but on the other hand, the spot is already so big, it's going to be so hard to find a fold for him. Tell you what, we've seen some fantastic, fantastic folds the last couple of weeks. 
I wouldn't be shocked if OP Pikachu finds the fold here, even though the odds oh, are wow, pretty good. There the it is. Insane. Wow. These, I mean, these players are at the final table for a reason. Like, that's just, it's really, really, really nice. Yeah, this put in the check so raise. Good. Oh, so good, man. I, I don't think I can find a fold here. <laughs> I mean, that's just psycho, like a psycho mug. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the first couple of shows I hosted this, I was like, oh, the money's just going to go in here. Oh, the money has to go in here. And uh, multiple times we've seen people just escape oh, in some sick, sick yeah. situations. OP Pikachu, well played there, not uh, giving Stephen Chidwick the full value. But Stephen Chidwick, hello, Mr. Chidwick, two million. That's 40 big ones, and he could not have had a better start to this final table. Very, very, very sick fold. A couple of people in the chat saying Andrews Nemeth, the best tour player in the world. We've sung his praises already. If, if I could buy action in somebody constantly for eternity, it might be Andrews Nemeth. As we're going to see the Jack 10 raise on the button. Great fold there from OP Pikachu. Super, super fantastic. Dude, uh, Elki, take a, take a shot. We, you know, we got a Brazilian player here with 2.3 million right side of the screen. Why Zivelki? You know, there's a lot of confidence in there. There's, there's, let's look at the – we got a Z. We got multiple Vs in there, some Ls, some Ks. That's a tough last name. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't sound Brazilian at all. Crusher, though. That's his 15th Super Millions Season 2 appearance. Tons of winnings on GG Poker, 7.5 million. Interesting, uh, the Jack 10 making trips on the river. Yeah, it's definitely going to try to get some value, but on the other hand, it's like uh, if you could have anything, you would probably bet. And it also doesn't look. Uh, it's not a line that you will use uh, bluffing too much, right? Most of the time, there's a board that you will see, but if you had nothing, so. Now, let's see how OP Pikachu handles this Ace-5 suited. I love it. I, we're, we're setting up for some fireworks here with a couple of these customers. Uh, it's a pretty good spot to free bet, to free bet, I think. Especially with the stack sizes. And... Yeah, absolutely. Very good spot. 280, 300. Andrews Neiman no, for BH10. No, the best hand, but he's pretty cuffed. I mean, there's not much you can do, I think, here. <laughs> he's going to have to muck. I, I think he will muck. Chat says, just call him Yuri. We'll go with Yuri. He's a beast. Tough last name to pronounce. Ace 10 here, just not a good hand out of position. You're facing a three bet. You got shorter stacks. Andrews Nemeth is creative, but I think the Ace 10 versus this size. Probably not going to be a continue. Expecting it just to hit the muck. When it, when it, you know, Elke, you, you, you've made two final tables. Oh, wow, four bets, sick. And that's why they're so good, man. They always surprise us. And Andres with a, a small four bet here. Now you put the that is a really on, sick back on line. Pikachu. Yeah, it's a sick line. It, it really, really nice play taking the ace 10 here. So many people, I mean, I just thought he was going to muck, move on, but not Antris Namath. Sensing that OP Pikachu might be light, he is stuck in. It's just, and it's so small, too. So small. Now, what does OP Pikachu do with the ace five suited? It's so small, but it's crushed so many times, right? Even as a bluffy is crushed, actually, <laughs> Andras Nemeth is definitely bluffing with a four bet here, and Pikachu is still crushed. So it's pretty. Gotta love this: the raise, the three bet, the four bet. Both hands not the highest caliber holdings. Now, OP, I mean, if OP, if OP Pikachu, could, if if you're going there, oh, it wow, is. Man. There's the the the, sick. the, the mid five crazy. bet. I, I was gonna say, if you're gonna find the five bet, the ace five suited is a decent candidate. And look at this size. Look at this size. 1.1 million. This is unbelievable. It's so brutal now. It's getting like more than a 5 to 1. 
<laughs> this worse is worse than out of position. It's like this is why we tune on on the Crazy. Tuesdays. You see, you see wow. some naughty no limit hold them action that you just don't find in many other places. And OP Pikachu, I tell you what, they, they're coming oh, out yeah. strong. The fold with the Queen Ten, the five bet bluff with Ace Five suited. That is yeah, top sick tier. Sick plays, man. Very sick plays from Pikachu. OP Pikachu, crazy. The strongest starting Pokemon. Wait, no, no. Char- Charmander, I think, was a little bit better. Did you did you play Pokemon back in the I day? Didn't play Poke- I didn't play Pokemon. Did you? Oh, dude, it was so big when I was in school. And Stephen Chidwick has some internet issues here. Yeah, man, everyone, you know, when I was in growing up, everyone was running around the uh, playground with the Game Boy Colors. That's what it was. Trading Pokemon, leveling up Pokemon. Oh, Chidwick was going to time out, right? A good thing he, had no, he didn't have a playable hand, but... We, it's funny that Chidwick is timed out here with the internet issues. The internet issues have been a common theme on this show. I don't know if you saw it a couple shows ago. Oh, with I saw the Kuhn. one where... It... Yeah, yeah, I saw who was timed out, like Pokesnack, Pokesnack off. So he got flipped up two pair and he timed out. Right? That was insane. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Jack so Steven... and the guy ended up winning it. Like, totally crazy. Steven Chidwick sitting out. We got to monitor that, by the way. It, it, yeah, he didn't yeah. have but a hand there. Jason Cody made a really good point. You know, like the... Oh, was that the first time uh, when Steven Chidwick actually like feedback with Ace King and left himself like one blind or something? Yeah. He, and Jason Kuhn made a really good point that it's like a really sick mistake online because if, especially if his internet is not like, it's never 100% reliable, right? If you just muck for one blind, it's just like, might as well just get in, right? So crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at Steven Chidwick. That's actually, that's actually the time. first mistake I've seen Steven, Steven Chidwick Done in a long, <laughs> long time, just like three betting and leaving himself one blind. It's like theoretically, it's not obviously he's always coding, but if you just time out, time out, if you consider like the chance that you can time out, which is definitely non zero, then it's pretty sick mistake, I think. I mean, it is pretty, it is pretty crazy that you know, it's just Chibrick's got the money. I'm wondering why the internet is uh, is lacking. Blind on blind battle here, two actually reasonable hands here, queen high backdoor hearts. Ace high backdoor clubs. I don't think queen five is just going to fold this hand for one big blind. Yeah, definitely. And Rust Nemet could definitely uh, raise over the limp with uh, such a strong hand. Okay. Chidwick is back. Good thing, too. He finds the king 10 suited. He would probably be pretty upset if he doesn't get a chance to play it. So no, no Pokemon. Okay, I did want to ask you, you know, I, I, about StarCraft a little bit and your history with StarCraft. I've never been able to. I was a big StarCraft fan as a viewer. I never played the game. I felt like you it was too Starcraft overwhelming for me. Too. I never played it. I never played it, but I loved watching it. I really enjoyed StarCraft as an esport. But I, I never, the real time strategy was just so overwhelming to me. And the, the clicks per minute was so overwhelming. Yeah, it's, a really, really tough, it's a really, really tough game, man. It's the most competitive game in the, I mean, every game is extremely competitive, but StarCraft was really, really tough. It's like insanely, insanely hard. It's really hard to it, get into, too. It's like the, such a great game, but it's quite, it's quite hard to get into. Like, I've, like, starting to understand the mechanics and just playing enough to be, to be good and to be able to, like, you know, fighting the world, it's, uh, it's, it's really tough. But, uh, but it was a, it was, it was a StarCraft was really a great, uh, um, it was great. It helped me a lot for my poker career, right? Because yeah, pretty easy shot for we run and MF has to go here also. Yeah, quick call, slight advantage I mean, for the ACE student. He has to go 100% of the time. Right? Wow, what a great start for King and Queen. Aces, he, tens. He sent down for Weyron, actually, but he couldn't catch up, and we got our first elimination of the final table. First elimination, good game. We ran Poo, ninth place, great showing, nice final table. There we see. Yeah, absolutely no experience on GG. A fantastic final table. Or We ran Poo, ninth place, and that will uh, launch their GG poker winnings by Big Multiplier. As uh, that is one of their best results on the website. Andrew Namath, big hand there and picks up the Kings the next hand. 
Yuri opens the Jack Nine suited. OP Pikachu snap mucks the Ace Jack. I think you were a muck, yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, Toad. Toad's a person that watches my streams a bunch. Good to see you. Okay, so what? What? Uh, yeah, Sakaf, you have me a lot. You have me a lot to play poker, right? Because they both games of uh, incomplete information, so you kind of have to like um, you have to extrapolate what your opponent is doing or what he's going to do with the information that you have in Starcraft, and because of the fog of war, right? And it's poker is kind of the same. You see very few hands as your opponent is playing, and you have to like extrapolate the overall strategy and how he's going to act every on the hand that you play against them. Uh, based on very little information, so it helped a lot. And also, um, what helped me, um, obviously, multi tabling also helped because you have such you have such high APM in StarCraft that I was able to um, to play so many so many tables when I started playing poker, right? So then it helps you like get much more experience. Like, I think hey, you're just I mean. you're just dialed in because StarCraft, you're 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 so dialed in to play StarCraft. At yeah, that level. you can play so many tables at once, and then you get so much more experience when you start playing. And we got a shot from Morgota, the short stack now. Yeah, really nice find from Morgata here. This offsuit ace, it's going to just do really well against the chip leaders open. So really, really, really nice find there. Man, you got a Final eight, you guys. Happiest. Blood has been spilt. See the next prize. They're already guaranteed about $70,000. We're going to have, I mean, Chidwick, 2 million. What a start for him. OP Pikachu, a couple of the best plays so far. Andrews Namath, killer of all killer. Yuri, we got some We got some studs. We got some stars here at this final table this Tuesday. Very happy to be joined by Elki. Bertrand Grospellier, back-to-back French crushers on the show. Hey, shout out to the country of France. Getting some, uh, getting some good exposure here every Tuesday. OP Pikachu, one of the standouts so far. He's 10 yeah, suited. to get back with StarCraft, yeah, it helps a lot. Like, as far as I think, there are a lot of like uh, StarCraft players who became really successful in uh, in poker, right? Because uh, there's the experience that you have, like the work it takes to make it in StarCraft, and mm -hmm. the, the, just the global strategy is pretty similar, and also like the ability to just make like real time decision really fast under pressure. And poker is it's quite similar, right? As well, so it's a uh, it helps a lot. Well, that's, like. that's what poker is. That's what poker is, is just a game and figuring out the mechanics of how the game operates. Like the other day here in Texas, I met a guy who was a professional Super Smash Brothers player. He played Super Smash Brothers at a very high level, realizes there's not much money in that anymore. And now he's transitioning to poker. And I'm like, dude, you're just going to do fantastic if you can apply yourself and really be disciplined. If you're a top level Smash Brothers player, your brain is very good at solving games. So it's like you're going to do really well. You know that's why we see so many people. Ch chess masters have transitioned to poker. Starcraft players, Super Smash Brother players. Like if you're dominating a different strategic game, I think your transfer over to yeah, poker could be magic, uh, magic pretty successful. Yeah, magic, magic a lot too, right? Mm -hmm. Magic, Magic, Hearthstone, all these, all these high-level strategy games. Um, what? Oh, Chidwick here with the Ace Five suited. I love the Ace Five suited, by the way. It just it just feels like when you have the Ace Five suited, the whole world of options is open to you. You know, if you want to get crazy, it's a really good candidate too. You don't have to, but Ace Ace Five suited is up there in terms of uh, versatility and, and fun. I think. Yeah, we've seen it with OPP catcher the play that he made against uh, Andras Nemeth with the Ace Five suited. It's just. One of the best candidates if you're gonna run this kind of bluff. Mm -hmm. A couple of people in the chat saying, "Does Andrews Namath make the final table every week?" Boy, it sure feels like it. Here, I'll give you his stats. Uh, he has two wins here in the season two of the Super Millions. His fourth final table and his seventh cash. Uh, Andrews Namath, his total earnings on GG Poker just eleven point five million. What? The, that's oh. pretty. That's sick. Eleven point five. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see a three bet bluff here from the ace four off. Not going to work. Yeah, bad timing, Yours. unfortunately. Good spot, yeah, chip leader here. Timing is definitely not going to work. 
Miko has, has okay. found... It will work against a lot of uh, Pandora's box range, right? Because of the two short strikes that are there, Memokul and Mogota, but it's King Surid, I mean, you cannot... Just going to go in here from the Ace King suited, I believe. Yeah, Miko here, the chip leader, has, has I thought, I think they've taken some really good spots, but just their opens haven't really gotten through. They're three bit plus. You know, they're still fine. They got six million, but a little bit less than what they started. They started the final table with 7.5 million. Oh, wow. wow. Ace King I... just peels out of position. That is shocking, but it might work out very nice for them. As Actually, Miko better, right? probably Miko... is not going to put Ace King in Pandora's range yeah, at all. He might yeah, get especially aggressive. his flop. He has to see better his flop. I think ninety five percent mm. of the time, like right? it's just the best flop that you could hope for. And it, all the hands that it presents, like so dry. Obviously, it's not going to work now. Wow! Just check calls. Miko picks up a gut shot. But is dead to a five. Uh, it's a it's a good I mean it's a good spot, good board to bar, right? Because Pandora box we don't we were both shocked to have him his king in his range, so we don't expect him to have uh his king very often here, right? He yeah, it's like king. you could, could all be can... having king you could have kings or aces and be trapping, but besides that, he's gonna fold most of the hands that he's continuing on the flop, right? This is sick. Is Pandora just gonna check call again? Seems like that's a reasonable option, right? Got a really nutted hand, doesn't really need protection. Has the chip leader right where you want it. Very interesting hand here. This whole hand is very interesting just because Ace King decided just to call preflop with it. Oh my god. Oh goodness. my god, so sick. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable wow. run out here. Ace That's four like, is like stone yeah. dead on the flop. It's like poker can be the most five. brutal fucking. That must be the border, most brutal game sometimes. You know when you like set the perfect trap with the ace king here and played perfect and like there's no spot you should ever like. There's no way you should ever raise at any point. I mean pre flop it definitely can trust, but flop in turn is now he's gonna snap and get eliminated in seventh place. Just an unbelievable, I can't even speak. The river card is just like for ace four to even have equity on the turn is unbelievable. And to go perfect, perfect, make the oh, wheel. Sick. Ace king, kind of a beautiful slow play here that is just not going to work. Yeah. Of course, you put it in and super power. Oh. Uh, Pandora box was getting seven feet and it's like must that hurt, is must hurt. disgusting. Good game to Pandora's box. It's going to hurt in the moment, but I, I thought that was a very creative slow yeah, he play played, after he played just really good. He played really yeah. good for sure, yeah. Nice There's result. But, can do in oh, <laughs> tell you what, if, 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 wow, if you know, I don't know much about Pandora, but if they're an individual that shows a little bit of spirit, like we could see a broken mouse, a broken keyboard over that one. That was <laughs> that was nasty. Steven yeah, Chipwick cool. versus Memacool. We got a huge flip here right away. Action, action. Pocket nine's holding so far yeah, yep the hole and double up wow. for the second double up for Mimikul right he double up yeah. seven flip one Mimikul doubles take some valuable chips from Stephen Chidwick I can't I can't even I I just I just feel so I feel like I need to throw up for that ace king hand it was just <laughs> the most because on, on a lot of rivers that are not a five Ace four is just going to bluff, like on a lot of rivers on that board. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, and yeah, Nico. I think he's bluffing a lot. Yeah, mm, yeah, he's bluffing quite a lot. I mean, river maybe not all the, maybe not that many rivers, but what a hand that was! And and you know, uh, Miko was, started the started kind of the final sure, table. Yeah. Yeah, it's a couple people in chat saying you got to fold Ace King. You just can't. It's just too. It's just too good. You can't nah, let it you go. Can't fold, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's also gonna be with three bet King Queen and King Jack, and he's gonna show for value a lot of the hands as well, right? So after that display of pain, we're gotta hear with the ten four suited. But we see the chip leader Miko, and they've you know regained their power. Eight point three million. You see Opie Pikachu, but then everyone else is kind of shorter. So big, big top heavy chip lead for Miko here at the Super Millions final table. That was, I tell you what, if we had to put together a list of like the top five to six, six hands that we've had on the show, that one, that one would that be up there. That was one of the sickest, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was super sick. 
Yeah. Was it King 8? That was King 8 free, right? King 8 free, rainbow. Pretty hard to win. Yeah, Ace 4 is like so dead, you know, it's just unbelievable. Okay, Yuri with the Ace King on the button. Tell you what, I, I sense a pot growing here, especially with the chip leader having Ace 7 of clubs. Uh, it's a pretty great spot for the chip leader to be raised to bet, to bet from the big blind. Of course, I mean, they were fine, but seeing how he's aggressive and with uh, one guy really short, if you raise the definitely possible otherwise. Because and call Fury. Ace King does have the ace of hearts. It's been a bad, bad couple of moments for Ace King. Oh wow! Oh, that's even worse and it's now. gonna that's, it's gonna get worse. What much, a that's sick, much worse sick now now turn card. Like, now there is no way it's holding. Uh, Oh, wow. wow. And A7 continues to check. Fantastic check for Miko. Yeah. This is bad news for Yuri. Really Yuri tricky, checks yeah. back. In their, mind, in their mind, they have an absolute nutted hand. Yeah. But they are in a world it of hurt. Be like, it's like the best the card that he wants to see, right? And it's our king on the turn. So it's like losing to so few hands in the spot is just. He's losing to so few hands, now. but when he gets checked, when he gets checked, right? So. Not sure how many uh, bluff Miko can have in this in this on this turn, right? There is the check raise, small check raise. Ace King just not fo not folding here. Yeah. But you gotta wonder. You gotta folding, wonder. But especially this, I think it doesn't feel too good, right? <laughs> Never feels good to get check raise and. Yeah, especially yeah, on this turn where the ace is really He clearly can represent anything, uh, Miko, right? I mean, obviously, he can have a seven, a four, but that's pretty much the only top hand that he can have in this spot besides set. So it's hard for him to represent anything. So it's pretty hard to bluff. Now, what does the a seven do on this river? Just stall in a little less than pot. Yeah. Really interesting. We've seen some very interesting spots already. There it is. That's all of it. Now, Ace King, we've found we found some fantastic folds. Can Yuri find it here? Tell you what, there's some other similar stacks. Morgata is short. It's kind of tough for Miko to have a bluff, but they're also the chip leader with all the chips covering. Just a really, really, really nasty spot here with Ace King. Uh, what do you think is going to happen, Elke? I think he's going to. I think Yuri is going to find a fold. It's a tough one, but I think New Way is going to find it. You know, you're on the button. This is like pretty high up in your range after checking back the flop. Very, very, very tough spot. We've seen some great folds, and I tell you what, I think Yuri is going to find the fold uh, as well. Yeah. I think he's going to find it, yeah. But you can't you can't blame Ace King for calling off here as well. It's, it's a very, very tough situation. Yeah, yeah, of course it's tough. It's extremely tough, yeah. We could see Yuri go deep into the time bank here. You think he's gonna call or I think I, I think he's gonna fold. I think he's gonna fold. Chat, what do you got? What's the ace king gonna do here? What are you guys predicting? I do predict uh, probably another two minutes of time bank though, at least. Uh, I mean it's just a just a tough spot for Miko to bluff when Yuri has so many aces in his range, right? So Miko could have the five six. Him. The eight, five, five, six, you can have some hearts, you can eight, have some, nine hearts, hearts. some hearts, some some jack x, king x, some hearts, but not that many hearts even if you had like, I mean, you has an ace of heart, but if you had a queen with a heart, you wouldn't check raise, you would just check all, so it's like. That's pretty, some of the hearts that's pretty would, split right now. Uh, Do you know be top level if we could bet? on their decision but you know we're on a delay the decision has already been made but that'd be pretty fun if we could do some real in-time betting uh, yeah we're i mean i they i wouldn't be shocked here if we just we saw a legit a five minute tank it's that sick of a spot but they That's have more information right than us, right because they've been they've probably been playing together for 
pre-final table and they have much more experience together. So they have much, much more information at the disposal that we have as well. We have to consider this as well also. Yeah, does Miko have the 5-3 suited? Could be in there, 5-6, but you know, 8-5, something like 8-5 diamonds. You gotta get pretty creative. 8-5 eight, five, eight, five off is pretty sick too. Yeah, I mean, if you can, I don't know, but. Intense moment here because if Yuri calls, all these chips are going to be shipped to Miko, and Miko is going to be in one of the sickest chip lead situations that we've ever seen on the show. It would be pretty interesting to see how they handle yeah. like I a mean, 10 million honest, stack it doesn't, at make, stage. doesn't make such a big difference, right? He's going to have 9.1 or 10.4. Mm -hmm. For Miko, it doesn't make such a huge difference. It's like such an overwhelming chip lead. He's going to have like twice the. Oh, and Yui oh makes the there's call, the call. And he's going to see the bad news, and uh, Miko. Is gonna be a overwhelming chip leader with like more chips than anyone else combined on the table. Oh, is it? Yeah, it looks like. Good game to Yuri. Yuri, oh, I'm, this is I. One of the best mustaches in the game. One of the best mustaches. Yuri's an absolute killer Brazilian crusher. GG Poker winning seven point five million. Another great result here. Really tough spot with the Ace King. That it, the call completely makes sense. It's just an absolutely disgusting situation. And we're seeing some blood here. Good game to Yuri, GG, and Elki. Just like that, we're down to the final six here in level 30. I don't think we've ever seen so uh, many players eliminated so quickly. Yeah, and Miko has like half the chips in play, like pretty much, right? It's like, you went pretty fast, like sick quarters. They, they've been running bad, right? It's like sick quarters, both of them. Uh, Yuri and uh, Endo Arbrox, they're just. Yeah, I mean, and you you got to give a shout out to Yuri's mustache as well. Um, it's just an absolutely classy look that I always appreciate. Uh, nine eight here. I mean, get ready, strap in. Miko's going to be playing every single uh, pot. We've never seen a chip lead like this at this stage. Six handed blinds are going to go up right away. I mean, uh, in the Mongota is like nine blinds, right? So it's like nobody can really do anything until he busts. <laughs> nobody really. Yeah. I see him wise. It's like can be kind of suicide to play a hand against Miko until. Until Mogota is out or develop. <laughs> Great to see you guys in the YouTube chat. I see all your names popping up. If you could do us a favor, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video, please. That's awesome. I mean, we're doing a, a, a big effort here at GG Poker, bringing you the best guests we can find. We've got another awesome guest next week, next week, but really enjoying my time so far with Elki. Bertrand Grospellier. Alki, man, I, I, I wanted to jump into what is, you've had a couple of big wins in your career. I got your hand in mob up right now. And these happen, I got into poker in 2015. So I heard about these wins. I've seen a little bit of video, but I've never been able to like really get your perspective on it. What's your favorite win that you had in your poker career? Uh, man, it's probably the PCA 2008, right? It's because my first big win and the first is always special. And it's just like, the biggest tournament at the time. I think it was like the biggest tournament. Besides the WSOP main event, it was the biggest tournament at the time, right? Like over a thousand players. Like it was like insane. And I ran so hard the entire tournament. I was just like, <laughs> kind of like Miko today, right? It's just like, of course he's playing good, but I mean, it's hard to play bad when you have to play on the turn and you like run, get run over a good shot. And like, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. sometimes poker, poker is, can be like, like the hardest game theoretically, but sometimes it's just the easiest game. You just run hard and it's hard to it's hard to make mistakes when you have the nuts in your hand. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting river. Memacool makes a very nutted hand. They have in the nine high flush. Pikachu is bluffing. And tell yeah. you what, this might yeah, sure it's a really be good one river they follow for through Pikachu with. To off too. It's a very good river to keep uh, putting the pressure on his opponent. Pikachu does not have a spade. They would definitely prefer a spade to bluff here. But after bluffing the turn, this feels like one of the better ones to kind of follow yeah, through it's on. Yeah, really good. it's a really good river to show them. But it's not going to work this time. It's not going to work this time. Pikachu has had an electric final yeah. table so far. But it snapped off. and uh, Pikachu yeah. used the bluff. It was not effective. Unlucky went out for Pikachu. It's really unlucky because you were... For pretty much any river, which is not a spade or a second pair, Memacool, right? Memacool 
might be a water Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu Pikachu. is going to be even under, even unlucky here because he's going to have. Okay, okay, I dropped I behind. dropped three or four awesome Pokemon references there, and I, I, <laughs> uh, hopefully oh, someone. Unlucky, did. he's gonna have to develop his shot stack. Um, he's gonna have to get in. We're gonna gonna get a nice spot here with the two jacks. <laughs> Pikachu, the one over. Wow, oh, wow. there it is. Boom. We are seeing some blood here. One out, the Jack of Clubs. So sick. So sick, man. Another elimination, and everybody is oh, dropping going lightning so fast. quickly. Going lightning fast, yeah. Good game to Morgata. Five players left. A lot of yeah, a lot of winnings on GG Poker. Not so much super millions. So a nice little super millions result for Morgata there. Man, the Brazilian players are just so good, and I, I love the Brazilian community. Uh, all my interactions with them at live events have just been super, super positive. And OP Pikachu, a suck out there, and we're down to five. Guys, if we can, can we get a, a can we get a payouts flash on the screen to reset the stage here? Final five, see the eliminations. There we are. More Gata, so he gets six figures, 116k. All players guaranteed 151, and you can see first place, 400. And twenty-eight thousand dollars, carnage so far. Back-to-back -back Brazilian players eliminated. We're in the top five, baby. It's like Miko against uh, Chidwick now, and yeah, Chidwick, the short stack. In a final table of the rich getting richer so far. Some of the chats said, Kevin, when are you going to final table this tournament? Hey, when I think about my own personal poker career, this is like the pinnacle. You know, if, if I can get and be an active super millions player, that's that's the dream to increase the skill level to that point where you feel comfortable playing against these legends. This is the tournament at the top of the mountain. Six four, gonna take it. Chidwick now the short stack. So we see Miko just bossing all these pots up to eleven million, three stacks shorter, and then Stephen Chidwick the really short stack. Ace Queen suitor versus Ace Queen. Miko is gonna be raised here for sure. Three betting out of position. What are we at? Four four seventy. Don't have to go huge either. 525 feels good. Memacool has had a really good showing off the short stack, multiple double ups. Won yeah, that flip against shit. Chidwick. You, you, you can't have too many ships to get in with this queen, so he has to call it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's not like too many ships, but too many ships compared to Chidwick being so short, right? What if a flop the same for stack, Memacool. You, you'd be happier to get in or shove, but with Chidwick being so short, for sure, it's tough to... Now, Mukul has the best flop he could, uh, he could hope for. Decides to flat. I, I think on a lot of runouts here, Memukul is going to find the win, but the, the double board pairing six feels like Memukul might be all right with just checking... Trying to take it to showdown. Yeah, I think they'll both be happy with seeing it. Yeah. Turn, turn feels like a check check coming. Wow, I'm, I can't again. Even, wow. Oh, wow. These guys just are surprising us sometimes. I, I feel uh, like. pretty sick now. Half now, of the if best and there's no club comes, then he might, he might win it, actually. Great second barrel here from Miko. Wow. Sick. If, if Miko bars here, I think he wins, right? It'd be insane. Three million in the middle. Especially with Mukul having both clubs, it's like there's no other draw there. It's blocking everything. It's like chip later. We would think this would be a hand you're just happy to check, but we, you know, Miko surprises on the turn already. 
a follow through uh, here. It's just so sick. it's so high level. Yeah, it's, it's so insane. Sick. So it's what sick to think Memo is gonna lose his spot. He's gonna he's in a spot to actually lose his spot. This spot after flipping the the dream. Just pure power poker from the chip leader. Just so many people on the turn would be happy to check, yeah, and he just finds a way to win. Yeah, I mean, it's just sick this out and this uh, action, right? Especially having a queen of clubs is blocking all the draws, so it's like, what is you think Miko is gonna have there? Miko is gonna have strong have most of the time, and is rewarded up to twelve point six million. We've wow. never seen a lead like this. I mean, look at all the other stacks combined; they don't even equal a small percentage. Chat, yeah, say, wow, yeah. what a line. Who it's does like that? I crushing, Sika's crushing on the final table. It's just an unbelievable find there to triple barrel the ace queen and, and find a pot that so many other players would either lose or chop with. Miko finds a, a, a huge win. Great, great play. Continuing to add up chips almost at 13 million now. And right now, like the other players obviously want to win, but in final table situations, like when the chip leader gets so far ahead, very often the other stack kind of play for a stack and they don't completely give up on the chance to win the tournament, but their strategies shift to a way where they're really looking to try to get second or even third, you know, when the chip leader has this big of a lead. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying, okay, I see him wise now. Even if somebody double up against the chip leader, his chances of winning, they don't yeah. really like. But the ICM is just like what they give up by like going on in compared to what they get by doubling up in this spot is not even that big, right? When you, like when Andras you, were, you know, up, you know, if Andras Nemev double up and go from five to from five from 2.5 to five, and Miko still has 10 million, his chances of winning, they don't really increase so much compared to like the chance of busting. So yeah. they need to. They need to play tight, actually. Chidwick. Chidwick, which might find it by here. Spot here yeah. Wow. Bad spot. Ace eight versus ace nine pipped. Uh, Steven Chidwick. Is... Wow. They both flop uh, a pair. Oh. Club. Club or an eight to keep Steve, Steven Chidwick alive. Not no. this time. Stephen Chidwick came in as the short stack, got some steam, gets fifth place. Really pretty good result considering how short they were to start. There you go. The, the man is an assassin. Look at his eyes. I, I Look at his eyes. The man is there to mess you up and take your chips. An absolute crusher, Stephen Chidwick. Some people say he's the best tournament player in the game. A really good showing here off the short stack. I'm sure we'll see him again at more Super Million final tables. But the story right now is the absolute destructive power that is miko here yeah it's sick i mean when you play really good and you run really good it's impossible to <laughs> there's nothing anybody can do right he has like great spots he's playing great everyone's saying kevin it looks like you're in heaven close your blinds it's bright down here in texas the great state of texas enjoying some nice weather compared to what i usually experience in canada alki is any alki is anyone going to stop miko doesn't look like it, man. Does it, spot. I think tell you what. He wins this spot. I think he wins this spot again. I'm, I'm going to have a little dark horse pick here in Andrus Namath off the 2.4 million. Don't count him out. Miko's just clay. I, he's won a stupid amount of hands here. <laughs> he's won almost every hand. I mean, he's been playing really well. <laughs> and he's been uh, getting uh, insane spots as also. So it's just a killer combo, right? Nice hand here, pocket nines. So, Alki, back when you were, you know, banking tournaments, PCA champion, you, you you won a bunch of tournaments back in two thousand eight. Was was ICM a conversation back then? Take me back to the the, not the nearly, meta not, of tournament not poker. Nearly as, not nearly as much as it is now, right? I mean, overall, everything like the understanding of the game, it just improved so much. Uh, we were kind of aware of it, but. It was not nearly as um, as refined as it is now, right? Which is why also, like, actually, I was, like, talking about it. And also, that's also kind of what, um, ironically, is what made some of the final table uh, more fun to watch for the casual players because 
everybody was spewing kind of hard, right? <laughs> so it's like when you're not so aware of ICM, you can make some fucking crazy moves and like uh, uh, you will just gamble a lot more when you have like average stack because people were playing to win. And also, uh, so um, yeah, it was definitely not as uh, as known as it is now, like the mechanics of it and exactly how tight you have to play. It's like, it was definitely known, this is, known by a lot of players there. Yeah. I, lo- I love I love how the meta has changed over the last 15 years. Three bet bluff from Mika with the queen eight, by the way. And then not to be ignored here is the out of position peel from Andrus Namath. 10-9 suited, kind of maybe taking a little bit of a stand here, but also there it's was like tough a, to continue. There was a lot of like uh, extra additional liquidity by like, winning, you know, because at the time, like, it was like the poker boom and like poker was in US, everybody was playing, everybody was playing everywhere in the world. So just uh, winning and like, there was like additional, much more equity than just uh, the money of winning a big tournament, right? If you like get on TV and win and get more popular, you could just have like a lot more sponsorships. Whereas nowadays, especially with like poker still not being everywhere in the US, it's uh, it's harder. Different times. Wow. This is this is destruction by Miko. The three bet bluff with Queen 8 successful. Gonna raise here. And I mean, everyone is kind of on their back heel playing a defensive, let the chip leader do what they want here. But and, I mean, the 10 5 suited, we're gonna see the call, of course. Middle pair. Let's see if Andrus can win this pot out of the big blind. Kevin's playing some tournaments on the side. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah. I, I am not multi table in here. We're, we're what, what's, <laughs> dude, the YouTube chat, man. Just, uh, I love, I love the things that come up uh, in the YouTube chat. You never cease to entertain. Did you bust the super billions? Did not play the super millions. So how long are you in My Texas for, Kevin? Yeah, a couple more days here. The wife's here. We're touring around Sick River for Miko. Just, just what a yeah. great, uh, <laughs> What a great run out. What size are they going to go? Half pot? 240. 240 is my prediction. Wow, good job. Elky, maybe I should play this. Yeah, Millions. you should play. You should play. 5K off, man. That's how, how good is that? Yeah, in Texas, Elky, um, have, you know the, the room that Doug Polk, Andrew Nimi, Brad Owen just like, bought ownership in, the lodge? Yeah, I heard of it, yeah. I came down here, checked out their operation. Dude, it's booming here in Texas. It's the, the game is booming in Texas. It's booming in Canada. The wait lists are 20, 30, 40 people deep. There's not oh, enough sick. tables. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Well, great I just to had, see, to, great had to, to see. come. Yeah, Amazing. feel the atmosphere a little bit, especially with COVID potentially ending, these regulations getting oh, dropped. Oh, and Russ, they make wow. a call and see the bad news and Miko extend his chip lead again. It's like... Pretty insane, actually. He hasn't lost. He hasn't lost a hand for like thirty minutes or more, right? Just Miko like can just do no wrong right now. Some hand earlier. I think he doubled up Chibik the first hand with his queen against his king, and since then he barely lost, barely lost a hand. It seems like just absolute destruction. Has has ran super super well, but has really played nice with their sizings, execution. Where it's it's interesting. We've the previous couple of shows we really saw. Multiple people. We saw people swinging into the chip lead. We saw like the the power dynamics going back and forth. This was our first one that is like this 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 is destruction. Ooh, eights versus oh, wow. ace king. Dude, Two massive gonna, hands beforehand. We're gonna, gonna see them get in here. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a shove and a call. I I, I think. It's gonna be a shove, hundred percent. A call. Eh, pretty close to. I think yes. I'm a cool. I mean, they've had a fantastic showing here. Coming on the shore sack, guaranteed top four finish. They these guys have all locked up four hundred, or sorry, two hundred k, two hundred k, which is quite a score. I, you know, if you asked me uh, a couple of months ago, I wouldn't know what that feels like. But I just had a two hundred seven k score in December on GG Poker. Shout out to me winning money on Congrats, GG man. Poker. Feels good. Thanks, it's you know. Good, yeah. <laughs> You, when I used to watch these final tables, I was like, "Yeah, hey, maybe we could find wow. the find, find the fall here." I mean, wow, it's slightly tight in this spot, I think. 
A surprise that four-handed is the short stack. We don't find the raise call, but yeah. yeah. Something to be said to keep it alive. This is going to be a shove. Ace-3 is going to shove it in. There it is. Raise, shove. Now, Miko with the king-queen. It's a lot of hand as the chip leader. It's going to be a call. We see a classic offsuit ace versus king-queen. Ace-3. What a great flop for Ace-3. Oh, I think we're going to first hand in the last hour. Yep, another double up for uh, Memo Cool. Memo Cool. That's their third double up so far. Staying alive. Running cold. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone in chat thinks I'm playing a GG table. Guys, I'm in Texas. I, I'm going to be playing GG as soon as I get back to Canada. Short sack now. Andres, name it. With the ace five. We have one man who is loaded with chips and the other three are pretty close these other three are really going to try to outlast each other guaranteed that third or second place finish but you know comebacks do happen as well check check here elki what uh what starcraft faction did you specialize in let me guess by the way i've never seen were you a protoss player no nope. we're okay you you were a zerg player no terran i was terran actually you were terran yeah. okay <laughs> i, I, I at the guessed. beginning i was playing random actually i was playing all free but then it was just too hard to to master so many matchups and so yeah. i was playing mostly mostly terran sometimes some photos on the island map you know because some other island maps were like Different strategies and it was okay, but mostly Terran, yeah. Wow. So sick. Terran, I, I from when I sweated StarCraft esports, Terran was like the least popular faction, right? It was usually Protoss or Zerg. Uh yeah, it was quite I mean, when I was playing in Korea, Zerg was definitely the most popular. Koreans they love Zerg, they love playing Zerg, right? Mm. <laughs> and uh so because there were so many Korean Zergs also, and I was pretty confident with my against Zerg. It's kind of like about the race that you play, but also about the matchup. And I really don't like playing Zerg against Zerg. It's like harder matchup, like so much micro, so much APM needed. I mean, every match is pretty, fun. every game is hard, but Zerg, Zerg, I was not that comfortable with this compared to like the, uh, like the mirror matchup is a lot more about, depends on the matchup, but micro is much more than the, than the macro strategy, right? And even if I was fast, the, Korean, they were faster. So. They, were, they were faster. <laughs> they were like insane. Yeah. Crazy turn card here. So queen four, raise preflop, outflop the queen jack, but the jack has answered on the turn. So big size. What is, I mean, interesting for Miko. Checks back to flop, does call. Now Andreth. Andreth Nemeth, yeah, the crusher. Spot, interesting spot. Very interesting spot. These blind on blind spots are really always fascinating to me because you see hands and combos that are in there that are not typical in the full ring game. There's the value shove. And now Miko is going to think about it. Now you raise pre, check back flop. You're facing a turn bet. You're facing a river bet. Now I would not be shocked to see a call here. I don't think the queen is good. You have the queen that blocks queen nine, queen eight queen suited. Is definitely not too good. But... So having the queen is not a fantastic card to have. But ranges here are also pretty wide. Andres could have 9, 8, 9, 7, 6, 7 suited. Hands like, you know, ace, 6 of hearts, king, 6 of hearts. He might not have left those on the river. I just, I wouldn't be shocked to see a hero call here from the four. Chat, what do you think? Is, the, is Andres going to get the full double here? I think he's. We know he's I gonna. Think Miko, I think Miko is for the. Good to see Jeremy M in the chat. Uh, Pawa. Yeah. Nicole Rusu. If you guys have any questions for Elki, let him fly. We got uh, the, the number one French player of all time. Hey, are you friends with Yo Viral? Yeah, you yeah, guys hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I love me some viral. I was playing some sick cash game with him actually. I was in like a King's Casino and was right off like a couple of weeks ago and we played some crazy, crazy game. I think I saw a couple hands of that. Yo Viral is a good time. I hung out with him in Vegas. He's just always, you know, good energy. Very funny guy. As Miko really giving a full time bank here with the Queen Four. Chat is saying he's not going to call. Yeah, it's a I, I, I think he's going to hero here. I think he's going to hero. Mm, he has no hearts too, which is pretty good. Right? King Queen is bad, but no hearts is pretty good. Pawa asks, Elki, why do you dance at every final table? Yeah. <laughs> I, I find does find the good, fold. Good for me, Cole. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Very Elky, how, 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 what, what was that conversation, by the way, with the GG animation team when they said, hey, Elki, every time there's a final table, we want you to appear and, and, and dance? Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's really great. I mean, I wish I could dance as, as well as a guy. On, I, I need to practice actually to dance as well as, uh, as my, uh, my avatar does mm -hmm. on GG, right? <laughs> It's fun. When, when, I dance when you on the, I dance for the cash game and uh, Daniel dan Daniel dance for the for uh, I dance for the, the tournament and Daniel dance for the uh, cash game table, right? Yeah. I think when yeah. you win, you like, dance for the when you win uh, two hundred over two hundred big blind pod. I think I dance better than him. My avatar, my avatar at least. <laughs> okay, Miko here gonna apply the pressure. We see some pretty strong hands behind though. Strong, yeah, HP stretch. Strong, but uh, tell, not super happy. You're never really happy to show it in, right? right. It's still like tell you what about the, the, the dancing Elki is is when people see you dance, they're happy because they make a final table. Yeah. When people see Daniel dance, they get salty because half the time they just get stacked. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like you that's lose, why. You true. lose like a 200 big blind pot, and Daniel pops up and he's shaking his little hips in your face. <laughs> that's kind of a tilting experience. Yeah, it's kind of the wrong end of that. And, uh, <laughs> Pikachu find, who makes the cheap leader fold then makes Memo good for the best hand. Actually, good. It's five suited again, right? It's five suited. Uh, it's five suited. The magic hand. Good times. Tough spot for Andres here with the chip leader to their left as well. You're gonna you're gonna face a lot of heat in these spots when when you have the chip leader to your left. You're trying to limp in. You're going to face some pain, and here it comes with the ace nine off. Wow, another limp call. Andrus, Andrus has peeled some hands pre against the chip leader that I think other people would not. Shows his confidence yeah. in his yeah, post flop game. Yeah, but it's also the short, it's close, but it's also shorter stack now, right? So you want to, you can peel more when you're the shorter stack than, let's say, if you had like five or six million chips, you don't really want to. Those hands are like mm -hmm. so flop goes check check nine six gonna feel pretty good about this small turn sizing. I mean Miko is dead to three outs on the river here. Gotta give a shout out to Baruzi in the chat. Shout out to Baruzi joins us every Tuesday. He's also a content creator. If you guys have never checked out his Twitch streams, quite entertaining. I haven't got the understanding of the rooster power. He, I, th I think he prays to roosters when he goes all in. Roosters? Some sort of, some sort of, uh, well, I'm rooster not sure the are pretty, pretty, uh, yeah. This is Andrus just recognizing that check flop small bet. He just has this, is, he just has the best hand. That's this is Andrus just making a thin value raise, yeah. just knowing exactly where he's at. It does take it down. Nice pop. Nicole says, Alki, what is your best moment in poker? Nicole, I think we answered that 2008 PCA. May, may, I'm going to borrow from your question. What, what did you ever have, you know, in that period when you were crushing, did you have any a bad couple of years? Like, what, when were you not maybe thriving as much in those, in those years? Mm. Yeah. Those few years I was like crushing pretty hard. And the, I think for a few years after I was not, uh, I was not running as well. I mean, you know, also just just before, I think just before maybe 2000, you know, yeah, maybe probably the little years I when the worst were like probably, uh, let me think, maybe 2014, 15, I guess. 
I was playing less online during those years too, right? And when you play like uh, like online, it really helps with the variance because you can play a lot of volume. Like when you play yeah. live tournaments, it's like when you went bad, you just play like, I don't know, it feels like it never ends, right? You go to Vegas for two months, but you play like 40 tournaments in for in the grand scheme of things, it's like nothing, right? So, yeah. The, at the but previous it, World it looks, Series. It looks like nothing. It looks like nothing. And we, don't, we all know it's like nothing in the grand scheme of things, and we're all aware of it. But when you lose every day, it's still like... It's still Devastating, like, man. It's still like... Yeah, it, with the experience, it's not so bad, but it's still like... I think that's also like one of the thing about the best players nowadays is those are the one. I think the best players are the one who can just keep playing extremely well when running uh, when running bad for for a long time, right? Well, Miko wins a nice him. one there. Get some more chips off of Andres. That's who is one of the short that stack. Makes a bigger biggest difference, I think, with these guys like Chidwick and those crushers is like. I mean, Miko is playing amazing now, but it's much much easier to play amazing when you hit every hand and when you're like running hard mm -hmm. and when you're on fire. But when you like um, have the variance against you for like days and weeks and months on hand and keep playing your A game, like it's. Not that easy as it as it sounds actually. Dude, I felt that what you said about live, especially like this previous World Series, I went and played a bunch for the first time, and I played twenty five tournaments. I min cash two and I bricked twenty three. And afterwards, you know, it's just like I'm like, oh, you just uh, you feel like the worst player ever because yeah. you know online if you break twenty five tournaments, but twenty five like tournaments is nothing, Sunday. right? You could break yeah, exactly. twenty five is pretty much nothing. Like it's yeah. just like a almost irrelevant number, right? Yeah. But you but still leave it another awesome... and you're there for one month, so it's hard, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Another awesome question in the chat. Elki, off the top of your head, who are your top three poker players? Who are, th yeah, who are hard, three names man. that you've it's always hard, looked up to? to? It's, so hard, it's so hard to just give an... I think it's not so fair to give an answer. There's too many players which are great, and there's too much... It's just too global, right? There's too much... Too many different format of players, right? Like, of poker as well, like tournament, cash game, like no limit hold them like mixed games there's just so many games now it's like in the best they're not gonna be like um they're gonna be a top players in every, some games obviously some of the top players they're good at every game but they're still gonna uh be different players for every every format pretty much right so it's and i don't know i didn't like that mm -hmm. and also like even if you watch them and you play with them you just need it's hard to uh I mean, it's hard to judge players which are better than me to begin with, but also it's hard to judge players just because you watch them with a little bit or you play with them a little bit. Even if I play with almost everyone, like when you, as we, you know, as we say, like just playing 25 or 40 tournaments in Vegas, is like irrelevant sample size wise. Like if I play with someone for a few days, it's kind of irrelevant in the, because it's even mm -hmm. more irrelevant because you don't even see any of the hands. So you can't really tell if they're good or not, right? Miko doing his thing. Catches the bluff with the nine deuce. Quick call, too. Continuing to take some small pots from Andres. Andres bluff there with the jack five. Miko with a nice call. Miko, too strong so far at this final table. Yeah, yeah this is, the, this is a order. classic raise spot from the chip leader blind on blind. I think the turning hand was when he, like, we raised with his five... S4, was it S4? He was with S4 suit against the uh, Pandora box and then he hit like runner runner like straight against Ace King on King 8 3. And you, there was a good chance that you would bluff the river uh, when not eating as well, right? And then you would be like, this hand. Just hey! Like, Insane chip lead. Gotta give a shout out to last week's champion, Alec. Alex Potokov in the chat. Racing his with his presence. Oh, Alex is one of you the guys... best players of the Super Millions too. I've been Super seeing sick. him. And I've been seeing him, and he made so many final tables. I can't even count. Like, almost every time I look at the Super Millions, there's Alex Pognakov at the final table. Yeah, so, if you guys didn't get a chance to check out last week's show, go back, check it out, and you can see, uh, especially that heads up was really, really, really interesting between Alex and Andres. So sick that Andres gets second last week. He's just here in the final four again. Shout out to Alex Pognakov in the chat, popping and saying hello. Uh, defending champion he's going to lose that title as we are going to crown a new champion here in short order and, and tell you what it, it, the whole we don't it could be somebody else but we don't have much reason to believe that the title is going to go to anyone else besides mr miko here and yeah, miko is 
an absolute fire. Just a constant stream of scooping chips. Jason Park, appreciate that. This is a nice show from Kevin and Elke. We appreciate you. It's our fourth time running the show. Another awesome guest not lined up next week. As what? Do, what do you think? The ace deuce here, Elke. Three bet bluff. Yeah, it could show up here. It's actually, especially if you've seen uh, Mimukud like uh, folding the eights earlier. I mean, it's a different spot, of course, but with Andras so short, is uh, raising is definitely a good. Uh, I was going to say the non all in three bet bluff looked really attractive to me here with the ace deuce. Um, and Memekul is in the blender here with just Queen Jack. From what we've seen from Memekul, I think they're just going to fold. Great play from the chip later. Yeah. Great play. Just clean. The right hand choice, good size. <laughs> Joseph, uh, a couple people in the chat saying Kevin is great, except he can't say anybody's name. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, these uh, some of the some of the names are tough. Like I, I have I, before the show starts, I get my list, I practice, I try to figure it out, and, and uh, you know, some of these some of these names, yeah, it's not hard, the man. easiest. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Appreciate you, man. Meme cool. No, that's kind of why I chose Elki actually, because like people they were just like butchering my name all the time. So I just, just called me Elki and I just put Elki and it's kind of nice actually. <laughs> Mukul is not gonna for this one. Yeah, we see the three eight suited. So you see. Miko still with 14 million. The other stacks combined, just really not even close yet. Ooh, this is depends. If King Six opens here, maybe Andrus can escape here, yeah, but no, it's folded yeah. to blind. Yeah. This is going in. Andrus name it just has way too much hand here to, to escape. I think it's, yeah, 12 big blinds effective. Oh, well, tell you what, that looks nice. Let's see what right. Andrus yes, does. Wait, I think he. Yeah, it, it actually doesn't feel good. It looks so strong. But still he does, sure. yeah. He just goes for it. Here we go. Andrus Namath, the killer. 33% equity. That's not a good start. Just dead to the Barry Greenstein. The three outs. Very good game. Andrus Namath. The man just gets it done. Second place last week. Fourth place this week. One of my favorite online yeah, players to watch. Again. Man, how sick is that? 11.5 million winnings on GG. Is that the, is that the most? It must be really close, right? If it's some people, some people in chat were saying he's he's the top earner in online yeah, poker yeah. in in you know just a Andrew Stamen. I'm a big fan. My, just to get second and fourth in like the hard you know the best tournament online, it's it's unbelievable showing. And we're down to three Alki quarter million locked up. Have a day, have a day quarter mil ball in the pocket guaranteed. Can anybody stop Miko and tell you what? Memekul, Loki having a very nice final table. Yeah, he was super their... short, right? He was he was yeah. like one of the free short stacks getting in like, uh, with Chirik and the guy on his left. He had like 10 lines to start the day. And... Good question in the chat. Elki, what's the worst bluff you ever did? Elki, did you ever have a tournament deep run? Maybe you punted and, and one that you oh, wish you could man. have back? Actually, that, that final table I won at PCA, I made some pretty terrible bluff. I looked at it, I looked at it back like a few years later, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is this play? It's so, so, so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, when you look, especially when you've been playing for so long, you know, and like the game changes so much, and you look at some of this tournament, like, I played like, fuck, I don't know, 14 years ago. Looks like such a fish. I mean, everybody was a fish, right? But it looks so bad when you play it now. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. Set of fives for the ship later. Uh, I forgot exactly what it was, but those there were some pretty terrible bluffs out there. <laughs> Three-handed action. Also, another thing I wanted to ask you about is I remember... I don't think you had... I, I just remember you made one appearance on high-stakes poker specifically. I believe it was season six. Where you were playing with the one yeah, table. I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the season, but yeah, there was like uh, Ivy, Bonson, Negreanu, 
Do I? I remember that. I think that I used to be a, still a big fan of, of high stakes poker. They're putting out more episodes recently. Uh, they have been a little underwhelming compared to like what the show used to produce, I think, but also the times have changed as well. I just, uh, I remember you making an appearance there. Um, played a sick hand with uh, pocket tens. I remember oh, that against one. one, right? And you had pocket tens. Yeah, also. you against one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had he tens, could, yeah. He saw, uh, kind of slowed him, but uh, I don't know. It was tough. I mean, also, like, I wasn't playing that much cash game, right? And one was one mm-hmm. the best in the uh, that, uh, in that spot. And I think he re raises with tens, and I flatted. And then he came like three aces on board or something like that. Like two aces on the flop, yeah. and then one third ace Caesar on the turn of the river. And I think he bowed three times, and I was like, I don't know, stuff. And I ended up calling and we yeah. chopped. <laughs> I remember, I remember that hand because you called, and Mike the Mouth Madison was like, "It's what a call! What an unbelievable call!" He's like, "That's one of the best calls." And then Dwan is like, "Bro, he's like, how do you not call faster?" It was yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> that was sick. Mike the Mouth is such a nid, and then Dwan is like, "This is like I'm playing a di- I think Dwan actually said, "Quote like I'm playing a different game than everyone else." If you guys think that's a good call, or you know, uh, it was fun, fun, fun times. <laughs> Man, that show slapped so hard back in the day when you when you got the epic lineup and you got Barry G, Tom Dwan when he was twenty two. Just that was the show for me. Yeah, that was insane back then. Let's see if the nine three. Eh, it just feels like maybe a board where the nine three is not going to go crazy. Nico is such was, an amazing spot here. I remember Dwan was crushing high six poker and then like he was like. Losing tons against this guy, Isildur on nine. It's like everybody was like, wow, what the fuck? Who's the, who the fuck is Isildur? This guy is crushing the best player in the world. Insane games. <laughs> that was like. That was By insane. the way, I'll get your. I, do you know what I like that you brought to this show? Where this is my fourth broadcast, and I think you're the first person to drop the F word, which oh, I'm, sorry, I'm a man. big I'm fan sorry. of. No, don't say sorry uh, because I'm a big I, I fan say it all of that. Time. I mean, I'm a big I, fan I, of that I, word. Yeah. I mean, I never say it like... Fuck is a great word, man. Is yeah, it, I mean, if something is like really crazy... And I feel like you've opened the door for me. I use it a lot more than other people, for sure. Sometimes they're like, oh, is it like a little bit shocked? But it's never like meant to... Right. It's more about the situation than someone, right? It's never meant like about someone if, pretty if much. You, if you watch, uh, if you've ever seen my stream in a deep tournament spot, the, it gets thrown out quite often, yeah, yeah. you know? Uh, <laughs> like, so I'm glad that we introduced this guy, so it. this guy is so good he's crushing like, that was like the biggest thing in the poker world for years back then right like who is it is it there like crazy these kind of hands here blind or blind queen jack suited raising the ace for everyone says the, the gg youtube channel can get demonetized i think we're safe Interesting spot here. We see the three bet. Yeah. What's the queen jack Nico suited? Nico is definitely not folding. Yeah. For sure. Calls and wow. It's just Miko's Cousin played so Binks. well. Cousin Binks. Cousin Binks. Making some hands. You nailed it there, Elky. Yeah, they yeah. binked their way to some, some uh, really yeah. sick situations here. So playing a three bet pot. My Pikachu, OP Pikachu, he has to see bet here, I think, right? It's just. Mm. Wow. Checks back and does pick up a pair. Miko's just, you know, going to be kind of loving life here. Historically, in a three bet pot, when in position checks back. They're not really checking back ace queen, king queen, king king, ace ace, at least not yeah, very often. I mean, he could, but it's just so unlikely to hear that he's beaten. Rarely, this pot, yeah. Right? It's just. I think with the size, with the size of the pot, though, you can check it. You can check traps for sure. If the pot was smaller, you kind of want to bet to get max value. But here, when he barely has like twice the uh, pot left, you can check the board and check the flop and trap. Nico. Continue to get the job done. I think we see a 15 million stack for the first time. 15 million. Yeah, insane. And the other two combined is like 6 million. So we're really seeing. <laughs> we got a chance for Miko to go wall to wall here. Again, the previous shows, we've had big swings in terms of the chip lead. This is the first time where we could see a true wall to wall winner performance here at the Super Millions final table. Yeah, he also he, he had a big chip lead to begin with, though, right? He had like seven. Eight, seven or eight? 
Just under five. Yeah, seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Miko got off to a bad start. It was down to like five and a half, I think. And then that ace four run out. Since then, they've uh, not looked back. Like, as soon as they made it happen with that hand. Oh, um, I remember Kurt makes a call with a uh, queen high. On the double. Oh, that five is board. no good either. Emma Cool's gonna win here. His OP Pikachu is the shortest three-handed. Guys, I'm I'm really enjoying this show. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys are enjoying it as well, do me a favor. Please hit the thumbs up button. Helps us bring you this awesome free content from GG Poker. Takes two seconds. Go slap the thumbs up button. If you haven't subbed, sub to the GG YouTube channel as well. Tons of other awesome content being produced on this YouTube channel all the time. Seven, ten, nine. Memma cool. Yeah, PP got through getting pretty short now as well. Lines are up 50k, 100k. Ooh, oh, wow. Strap in two I premiums here, three handed. Yeah. King nine's not a bad hand either, but King King and Ace Jack suited. Yeah, we're getting in here, I think. Uh, Memicool actually has to be maybe some sometimes worried about this small three bet, but you have ace jack suited. Yeah, You're just gonna come in, right? Oh wow. Wow. Wow, sick fold. Wow. <laughs> The sick does not even begin to describe it. I thought so we were going to see it, it all so in. fast too. He fought it so fast. Uh, Mevin sure Cool yeah. loses one big blind with Ace Jack suited three handed. They lose one big blind. Unbelievable. That's insane, yeah. Wow. Wow, you got to defend here with King Nine. And let's see. Nine three suited. How how far do we take this? I think on this board we might be ready to go for it. Yeah, I you know, because if Mema Cool has ace king, bar. queen queen. Uh, yeah, I think I think he doesn't. Oh, now he's definitely gonna bow. Oh. I don't think he has. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure he limps limps call is king in this spot. Right, he might, but it's probably more likely to either raise or limp 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 shove or limp free raise. Right. Have Very six spot here. Wow, yeah. he gets wow, the king boom. nine to muck. Miko. Just too strong, man. So good. I yeah, do like getting, final every tables. He's never getting every situation so well. Like always makes it. Yeah. It's a good. Move. I, I enjoy final tables two. that have power swings, but I also enjoy a final table where the ship leader just destroys everyone, and just wins the whole thing. And you see that? You see that classic dominance. Five do suited raises. See if five deuce can find the win here as well. Mm, I think you will. Mm. Picking up that gut shot. Maybe that's what you need. 450, if I know. Just, just checks. Thought the turn bet might have... Uh, Made an appearance gonna, there, he's but gonna check, he's gonna check raise the turn now. Uh, uh, wow, we I have five lot, high. For a lot of ace in the range, right? So I think Miko can. We have five high. We checked the five. Uh, Pretty easy winning, to rep this winning, river. He's winning it for sure now. King four, the best of it, but yeah, yeah. I mean, especially when he checks twice, it's just. So unlikely he has five high, right? The Miko train. The Miko train. Too strong. Uh, maybe he's gonna get maybe he's gonna lose one here. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Kevin gets better rake back on GG every time you hit the thumbs up. Hey, if that was the case, I'd be banging a little harder. That would be nice. No, shout out to shout out to GG Poker. I've been in Texas here. To, you know, I've been 
I haven't been able to play any online tournaments for a little bit here, and I'm itching to get back, play some online games. Let's see how the chip leader uses the ace five. Just defense. Ooh, this is a board that uh, we could see a lead sometimes. Chooses not to. OP Pikachu cannot like this flop, though. Well, that's a huge turn card for the King-10. You can see all these guys have locked up $250,000. First place this week at the Super Millions, 426000 USD. Plus the title. People always talk about the dollars, but don't forget the title. Something to be said for winning one of the most prestigious online tournaments. Wow. I think I, I won the most. Adamo won it four times, right? That's like insane also. Adamo is like... Adamo has made this tournament his... I mean, he's just destroyed every tournament. But like he's 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 won some super millions for sure. I don't actually have the exact number in front of me. Mm, I think at least three, probably four. I would think four. That's pretty sick if you think about it. Wow, no no uh, value. I checked back, yeah, yeah, I checked back from OP Pikachu. He, he wasn't going to get it on SS5, but you would think it... A little There's snug there on the in, check uh, back. Yeah. I think the chip leader is gonna trip at this hand, right? Could could oh flats. Flat. Memicool is I mean tell you what, Pikachu and Memicool. We we might see a, a resurgence from one of these. Or of course, the classic just, you know, Miko could just go the whole way, but. Interesting check back. A lot of people saying, what's up to Elki, the French god? Wow, this is interesting. Big bluff here. Makes sense on this board too, right? Miko flats the small blind. Yeah, uh, oh wow. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Yeah, he bluffs and he gets there. <laughs> bluffs with just three outs and finds the ace of clubs on the river. Now, do you, what do you do? You bet big on the turn. You make a weak ace on the river. Yeah, not surprised to see the check. Yeah, uh, check. Does go check, check. It's Miko's world right now. He's making it happen. Would have been interesting to see some other rivers. Maybe the ace four follows through with the bluff. Yeah, they don't have wow. that you can bluff. How, how bluff. sick does Pikachu have to feel? You get the aces, and you know Miko's playing every hand, and Miko just mucks the button. You have to be like, what is going on, you know? Yeah, it's going to feel bad. <laughs> Miko's going to play like 85% of the buttons, and he doesn't find the raise there. Oh, two big hands here. Holden Clark says, Elky, when's the last time you played StarCraft? I haven't played for many years, man. It's like, uh, it's tough. I don't know. I'm not sure. When, when was your I last uh, competitive two. game? Competitive? Wow, that was like 2005, I think. Four, five, 2005. Oh, I did Miko flats the raise and get to lock again. It's just hitting it. It's pretty insane. I mean, like, he's also playing great. Miko, of course, like, playing really, very really well, but he's just running, like, Super hard. Miko's the king of top pair at this final table. Yeah. It's oh. kind of easier to play poker when you make top pair every hand, actually. Now, Memicool <laughs> picks up a queen here. I think we're going to see a check from Memicool. Or a small bet, but I think the check is coming. I think check is going to... I think it's check calling. I'm a cool in a world of hurt here after making the queen that is no good. Miko, of course, has lots of ace X, but a bunch of the ace X is just going to get shoved pre from Miko's perspective. There is the check. Kind of an interesting blind on blind hand here.
Yeah, the small size makes sense. Lemon cool, not folding. I'm gonna check call here. Kind of the only thing that makes sense with King Queen here would be to check call. Oh, there, wow. oh. wow, a river goes Sick. against Miko. Sick run out. Yeah. Does Memacool ever lead? No. But Miko might just check back though. Now he's just yeah. Like... I mean, on, on this river, like yeah. it's pretty sick, but Miko finds back, a way yeah. to lose, like small bet turn, lose nothing on the river. It's pretty yeah. strong for Miko. Bit, yeah. <laughs> pretty sick beat, but. And that's what I mean. Even when the hands haven't gone Miko's way, the losses have been minimal. They, they, he's, he has not gotten into really bad spots. And when he has, he's just always been, he's found the right plays. It's been very impressive here. He's rocking the Gucci logo. You got any Gucci stuff in your closet, Elky? Are you, are you, do, you, do you go for the big clothing brands? Not Gucci. I'm not the biggest fan of Gucci. I like like Philip Plan the most probably. How about you? Dude, I anytime I think about buying expensive clothes, I just think like I'd rather have cryptocurrency than like yeah, a four hundred dollar t shirt. So I just can never pull the trigger on something really expensive. Makes sense. Uh... You know, I'd rather add that to the bankroll or the investment portfolio. Definitely wiser than me. <laughs> oh, God, in the chat, JS. Great to see everybody. Next Tuesday, we're going to be back. Every Tuesday. I'm locked in, man. I'm going to be back in Canada next week. But we're going to bring you guys the show. Interesting, interesting spot here for the Queen Jack. It is the limp raise a call. Now, you're sitting there with two overs and a gut shot. Do you seize the moment? And fire the turn. Yeah, diamond is never feels great though. But he's gonna have like he's, he, uh, when they check back, they usually have some pretty decent equity, right? Especially when mm. River Queens have been kind to Memicool. Finds it here, but not gonna get a lot of value. Yeah, I don't see how he might get more value by checking here. That's it, yeah. Quick fold. So not much has changed the last 10 to 15 hands. Miko is sitting comfortably at 15 million. The other yeah, two. What's that getting smaller? There's not that many big uh, clashes of hand, right? Actually, there was Kings against Ace Jack Solid, but Mimokul was able to find the Ace Jack Solid. That's pretty insane fold. Like, yeah. Elke, have you have you have you been able to catch the latest Netflix hit documentary known as the Tinder Swindler? Have you have, no, have you watched that program it. yet? I haven't watched it yet. No, it's good. I mean, it's 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 entertaining. It's entertaining to say the least. I just like was Tiger the, King, the like Gucci. Tiger King, like Tiger King, or yeah, it's kind of one of those uh, <laughs> hot mess documentaries where you're just like, wow, I can't believe this happened. Wow, this, this this dude just ran this massive scam on these. Yeah, buildings. I heard I heard of it. I should. Uh, it's pretty fucking mm -hmm. insane. Should watch. Not it. all in three bet from Pikachu. Couple individuals in the chat seeking the cryptocurrency advice. Not my area of specialties. I try to. Uh, I got some friends that are smarter than me that I lean on them for information. Ooh, interesting. Both players have it. Wow. The nine. The nine would be chaotic here, Elki. Yeah. Both players would make the, basically the nuts on a nine. I think Miko's going to float here for sure. Yeah. Uh, 
A good card for Mimiku. Yeah, it's the best card for him to borrow too because you know Miko has been like raising a lot of the ace, so Mimiku definitely has much more aces. Wow, big bet. That being said, it's gonna get it done. It's gonna get it done. It's gonna get it done for sure, right? I think I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good bet there. Good bet. Interesting three-handed dynamics. OP Pikachu, Mimikul, definitely thinking about that ladder from third to second. Can if we can get the payouts to pop up again, that would be fantastic. We got an excellent production team that runs the ship. Shout out to them operating out of Korea. It's been fun to work with you guys broadcasting the show. Queen Seven raises. Just curious on the exact ladder from third to second place. There we go. There they are. See, you can see the ladder from third to second place. Third, everyone's guaranteed quarter million, but second place is 330K. What a turn here for Pikachu. Queen seven of hearts, stone dead here. Pikachu not going anywhere. But I think the queen seven is going to shut down on this river. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're battling here three handed Elki. Miko, we you know, looked like Miko might just shut the door, stomp out his opponents. But no. Yeah, Again, that's Pikachu, back, yeah. Pikachu with another like really kind of tight check back on the river. Not saying it's bad, but it's just on the slightly tighter side. We tell him to check back. Ooh, King Nine suited and Jax, two yeah. really strong holdings three handed. Quite tight. I think the King Ten earlier was much tighter though, because this time mm -hmm. he chops against any king, right? But the earlier one, it was actually like. More surprising. Another free bet from uh, Pikachu. Pikachu has been getting like so many premium heads in the small line, actually. He's been pre raising. Yeah. Hey, we got a hand and he always had it. It's pretty sick. And yeah, not surprised wow. to see the King Nine student yeah. peel. And this is, I mean, this board is A, like really good for Miko's flat and range in a three bet pot. Two overs, backdoor clubs. So like, this could be a big pot. Yeah. They might get it in here, actually. Wow. 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 Actually, maybe. Yeah. Like, if Pikachu does better, if Pikachu does better anything, Miko would likely shove, but I guess the shove is actually. Kind of sucks. That just donuts for almost 2x pot. Any other size King Nine would play aggressively and probably get it in, but versus this, perhaps Miko just folds, maintains yeah, the ship lead. Yeah, for, not surprised to see that. Pikachu kind of, eh, there's something to yeah. be said for Jax, like really denying a lot of equity there, making yeah. King Nine suited fold. Now but the problem is if, cool. this, if you use this I think with Jackson, like theoretically, it's like you know, if you just want to see bet some weekends, it you can't really do it, right? I mean some have been learning Elki is there are certain boards uh that I've been learning about. My my coach calls them the tomahawk boards. There are certain boards where you are just supposed to put in like all your chips for two, three, four times the pot. And some it's a, kind of a something you didn't see many years ago, but people are starting to do it a little bit more. Blind on blind here. King Jack suited just has to look like aces three handed. Oh wow, he checks back pretty conservative. Conservative, yeah. No. Nope. Off of 35 bigs though, there's something to be said for you don't want to get limp or shoved on or anything. Mm, yeah, Love and life there here. Not, there, was not that, there was not that much. Mm, yeah, I mean, you can get. I don't think people limp shove so much for 35 eggs in this spot. Right? There's not that much, uh, how you say, like information that's it. If you catch would be trapping with so often in this kind of situation, right? He'd... Lines are up. The three handed battle. OP Pikachu, Memicool fighting here. Good performance by all three of these players. Although, I mean, Miko's had domination. Memicool played really well with the short stack, and Pikachu had some really fantastic moves as well. So these are very 
three deserving finalists. This is a raised spot for Miko. Yeah, raise, take it. Here we go. Blinds are up. This level is going to determine a lot. Yeah, people busted like left and right for the beginning of the final table. Now it's getting much, uh, much smaller. But there was also much, much less uh, confrontation, right? Much less big hands. Yeah, exactly. Fighting. Got to give a shout to Carlencho in the chat as well. How you doing, Carlencho? Graphic designer, poker player, overall wonderful individual. King six raises, ace three now. Got options here with ace three. Call it's quite a lot bet. to show. It's quite a lot to yeah. We could raise, especially being yeah, three. raise is good because he's been playing fairly conservative, so it's gonna get much more. Uh, Respect for his reways. I mean, he would fold king six anyways, but he would have to fold a lot of ace, I think. I hope you get you in this situation, right? Because Memokura hasn't been re raising almost at all at, as a bluff. Tell you what, I like that that ace three, the non all in three bet. It's it's powerful. It's a great play. Oh. Things are things are good, uh, dude. I follow you on Instagram. I see, I see the I see you guys uh, traveling a little bit. Jenny looks you know happy. You guys are having a good time. Yeah, she's happy. That's good, man. <laughs> happy, dude. I just got married this year too, and, and my my wife is uh, on the road with me. That's a big part. I feel like I actually just play better poker and I'm a happier individual when she's around. Yeah, that's nice, man. That's lucky the, they can follow us around. Oh, and uh, is Miku gonna continue who is his bluff? Queen's not, the, misses. Uh, not the best river to bluff, but he's giving up. Does yield the resistance here is strong from the two shorter stacks. Things have turned the last 20 hands or so, they're, yeah. they're finding some, some nice wins. Absolutely. And you're seeing Miko not tighten up, but just like a couple of the worst combos that earlier he was aggressive with. He's, you know, his opponents are now 30, 35 big steep. Happy wife equals happy life. <laughs> Mimicool. Fun one for a check raise here. That's what I'm thinking. Got the 7 4, you got the gut shot, the back doors. It's a candidate. Wouldn't be the worst hand to use, just mucks it. Acceptable as well. Especially with the image, I think you can get away with because he's been playing more conservatives than uh, OPP Gachu or Miko for sure. Absolutely. Ooh, couple big hands here. Pikachu. Calls. A couple spots we've seen at this final table where people could have gotten a little more active. Just calling is a good moment here. Maybe cool has been a little uh, on the snug side compared to the three. Great action here on this Tuesday. What time is it there in, in uh, what time you got, Elke? Uh, actually, I'm in Thailand now. It's, ah. it's 3.40 a.m. 3.40 a.m. Wow. Guys, you got to give us a oh, thumbs man. up. El 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 Elke's, brought, Elke's, you know, he's, he's, he's streaming with us here at 3.40 a.m. That deserves a thumbs up on the <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, it's That's... pretty early for you, right? It's like what? Yeah, it's like uh, two, 12, hour, 12 hours defense. Yeah, yeah, almost, it's like three, almost it's like exactly. 3.40 p.m. or something, right? Almost exactly on the opposite side. The time, the time zones mess me up. Very tough, very tough to figure out. 
and everyone, you know, we got, you know, the production teams in Korea, most of the GG people operate in Europe. I'm here in North America. Did you, when, when you were multiple tabling, did you ever, you know, did you ever go for like an 18 hour session, 20 hour session, 24 hour so session? Many hours session, man. I was insane. Actually, <laughs> Cause you know, like when they had this like loyalty program, supernova, like the first time I wanted to be the first one to get it. Right. And then like, yeah. Uh, I think I got it in like two weeks or something, but then like at the end I was like, you could see how many percent it were. And I think I was like, I don't know, I was like 87% or something and I've been playing for 12 hours. I'm like, oh, fuck, what if I go to sleep and somebody gets it? So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to play for like 30 hours and get it. I'm just going to play until I get it. I play for 30 hours, but like playing for 30 hours is kind of tiring. But when you play like, when you play live, it's okay. But when you play like online and you play like like 20 tables at a time for 30 hours, it's like, oh my God, it's pretty hard. It's pretty rough, actually. I had like sick of headache after, but I got it, so I was happy. But then I had like, a <laughs> really bad headache and then like, a... <laughs> I played a few times. Yeah, I think 30, maybe 30, 35 hours is the most I play online. And it's much harder online, right? Like 30 wow. hours is it's probably not very wise at all, to be honest. Like <laughs> not playing good after, you're not, you're definitely not playing. Even if you take a few breaks, you're not playing good after such a long time and like live is kind of okay because like even if you play for like 30 hours and you play with the same opponents and they're all up that same the same time as you no, you don't really lose so much of an edge maybe you get even an edge because if you're in better shape than them they will get tired quicker or so but online it's like if you're playing against different opponent basically like it's not a good idea to do it man. <laughs> set of fours here not excited about the club but gonna win for the chip leader how about you? What's the longest online session you played? Dude, uh, 15 hours, man. 15 hours is like, I don't, I don't, uh, I've heard stories enough. of you guys. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Don't worry. <laughs> you, you guys, I've heard stories ago. You, you guys, I remember when I was uh, first hanging out with Lex, he told me that he, <laughs> about some of the marathon sessions he used to pull. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We used to, we used to play like, like 15, 20 hours was pretty standard, actually. Yeah. Any more? We were stupid, uh, stupid also, you know, we were stupid. Like, I mean, at the very beginning, it's like very stupid, but it doesn't feel good to lose. So you never want to lose. I mean, obviously, it's pretty dumb thinking, but, <laughs> but like, do you know you what popped up randomly? Or up, right? <laughs> yeah. A random video popped up on my YouTube feed the other day. If you don't want to explore it, I don't know how you feel about the subject, but you had a very uh, public kickboxing match with Lex Velvet oh, yeah, way back wrecked, in the day. Wrecked, yeah, yeah. But that was really good, you know. I learned how to fight a little bit, so it was. Uh, it, was it was a good scrap, though, man. Like, it was a good scrap. Actually, I was doing much better in practice. So I was pretty disappointed. I mean, I probably got wrecked anyways, but in practice, I was doing much better. But like, it's really weird because, like, when I played StarCraft or when I played poker, I would always compete better. I was always do better when there was like more competition than in practice. That was kind of my thing in StarCraft. It was like insane, actually. Like some players I played with, some Korean guys. Like sometimes uh, in practice, I would win against them like 30% of the time. But when we had like mm. an important match on TV, they would all choke and they would win. Some guys, they just, they were like practice gods, right? They would just play so well when they play at the office, at their home. And whenever there's like a lot of stakes, they would uh, make mistakes and not, and choke. And, and I thought I would be able to do good in uh, the actual fight, but actually I kind of choked. I don't know. That was, I would probably would lose anyways, but that was like, yeah, that was interesting. Massive, massive balls for getting in uh, mixed, you know, a fight. I've never been in a fight, and I don't think I will. I respect people who step in the ring, and you know, it's just, uh, yeah, I massive credit yeah, for, for, it's, for it's, taking it's, on that challenge. It's interesting. It's uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool practice, and it's interesting, and it's like I like really like the the fighting training. It's also like it's really good for to get in physical condition, and also it's kind of more interesting than like. Uh, it's more, yeah, it's more interesting than regular workouts. It's like, I mean, it, going to like being physically uh, active is very good for you, but sometimes it's kind of like, I don't know, just regular gym stuff is pretty boring, man. It's just like you do the same mm -hmm. thing over and over again. But when you train, you actually like learn combination and you just, there's just more interaction. It's more like a game than, right? There's like a physical, obviously, it's extremely physical, but it's also feel more like a game. So it's much, much more interesting and much cooler to, to do than just like, 
lifting weights and adding like 10% every, every, every other week and so on, you know. King Queen seeking the third street of value. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, Nine eight that's, loaded that's, flop. That's quite a, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, ambitious. Sure. Right? Yeah, it's like nine eight floated yeah, like the opposite of Pikachu. Pikachu made some pretty tight, tight checks where you thought it could get more value, and here maybe it was. This kind of one of the spot is like even if you have the best end so often, it's it's hard to get value right a lot of the time. Miko, uh, you know, even though they are down from their fifteen million peak, they've still maintained a really nice control here. Three-handed lines going up in seven hands. One thing I love about the GG final tables is the clock is turned off. It goes up per hands. I really enjoy that. Oh, we yeah, could see. Uh, I mean, mm, yeah, for, not yeah. a ton of action. I thought I thought Memicool flopped two pair. I was like, oh, this is going to be huge. But wow, Miko with top pair and the flush draw has the nine five basically dead. Small bet flop. Interesting what the 10 7 of hearts does here. Nice check. 9 5 going to check. 10 7, I think, is going to seek some value. All these pots are, are very important. We've got almost a million in the middle. Just because of the separation between the two short stacks, these all matter. Where are we going? Small 420? 420,000. That's my prediction for value. Thin, small bet. Goes for six. What do you think about the 5 9 here, Elke? Uh, oh, I nice fold. Stuff, yeah, nice. I mean, yeah, nice fold, but it's. Yeah, especially like I think Miko he borrows a lot if he has good equity on the turn. Right? If he has like a bluff, like there's a lot of bluff which is like would borrow. I think there's not that many hands actually. We just like like bet check bet as a bluff on this kind of yeah run out on this kind of run out especially right. Because he loves yeah. love the bluffs, he would have so much equity on the turn, he would probably bet them. If he had just naked heart, or like, if, especially this run out, like any heart with like a nine or a jack, it's like combo draws that he would most likely bet on the queen. It's funny, people in the chat commenting that, uh, you know, we got to three handed very quickly. We're like, this is the fastest Super Villains final table ever. Yeah, but, but it's like these the three have really. The longest three handed, right? yeah. And the crazy thing about this three-handed is like we've seen almost no change in the dynamic. Like it's been Miko with 14 to 15 million and both Pikachu and Mem. Like, you know, I, think cool so, uh, I think we haven't even seen any Olin three-handed if I remember correctly, right? The last Olin was like Memukul against uh, Andras Nemeth, I think, but there yeah. was not there was not even like two players all in since he was three-handed, right? Lines are going up shortly. We're gonna get to level 35. It's gonna happen eventually, but of course. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna see something here. Queen 10 definitely gonna at minimum limp call. There it is. Top pair for Miko. When Mimicool limp calls out of position, they're not gonna be doing too much on this ace high board. Small size comes in. Big Fish says, Roddy and Nano, I love you. Hey, Roddy and Nano, I would love to have them on sometime as well. They were the two previous hosts of the Super Millions. They carried the show for, for, for many, many shows. I thought they did an awesome job. <laughs> you know, when I took over, they were like, you, give us Roddy, give us Nano back. Hey, sometimes you just need some change. You remember, uh, you, you were good buddies with Nananoko, right, Elke? Yeah, yeah, with what he was, what he has well, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We played a lot of poker together. And, we played a lot of like, poker together. And, uh, yeah, and Rotterdam's a StarCraft guy as well. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's, he was like a StarCraft 2 player. He was like a more like a Warcraft player, but he was a StarCraft 2 StarCraft uh, caster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He still is, actually. 
Yeah, I like those guys. I love what you know. They're really cool. Nice interactions. Again, speaking of a legendary multi tabler, we got to talk about Nananoko playing 75 yeah, tables. Yeah, has the, world Guinness, the world Guinness record for like the most, the most number of cash games played in like many hours. I think it was like wow. probably, probably like 10 or 12. What a, what a find there by Pikachu. 9, 10, no heart. Oh, we got pocket nines. And the hand is blocked by that pop-up, which is, oh, it's ace-jack. Jack. Oh, this this we, is, uh, this is, this is, this is it for sure. Here we go. Two shorter sacks are going to collide. A raise. And surely the shove with ace-jack comes there's in. There's just no way. There's just no way. There it is. That, that is a, they don't get in here. Massive equity flip. I mean, this flip is for over $100,000 in equity immediately, plus more in future EV. Ace-jack, 9-9. Nine, nine. Big one. Pikachu holding so far. Oh, wow. still 25%, a heart or a nine? No. Tell you what, Mevacool has won the all-ins at the key moment. They won every they find another. They won every all-in, I should Yeah, know. yeah. Every all-in, they were shorter. They've, they've survived. And now Pikachu is really short as blinds go up as well. It's going to get chopped on too, probably. Yeah, Queen Nine going to rip here. Mevacool, five million. Huge, huge flip there. Oh, Pikachu was just praying for the hold. That would have meant the guaranteed ladder, and they would have had a fighting chance heads up. He's three going to rip. King five for Chippy V is not like an outlandish call here, but I don't think you can call. King 10 off, King nine off is what you're... King nine off on the bottom. Close. Yeah, it's pretty really cool, I think. King eight off, close. King five, I think, is just a little too wide. King five thinking about it, though. Maybe they're thinking they'll go for the kill, heads up, but you just do not want to double up Pikachu in this situation. Really thinking about it. Calls. He makes a call, yeah. Ace three, king five. King five is live, but behind. Oh, oh. Wow. A king of death on the flop. Tell you what, Pikachu a little unlucky at the end, unless they find an ace. No. Nope. Good game to Pikachu. Good game to Pikachu, yeah. And powerful. Yeah, powerful performance by the yellow Pokemon. There he is. Electrocuting cash. Okay, I'm going to stop with the Pokemon references. I just can't help myself. Great showing from Pikachu. Third place. Thought they played really well. A couple, you know, unlucky. They could easily be a heads up. They just went 0 for 2 and all wins there. One flip, one time they were ahead. And here we are. The stage is set. One versus one. Heads up. The dominating chip leader from the start and the short stack Mimikul, who's just found a way to win yeah, their all It was all one of the well. short stack. It was like, you had like 10 lines to start the final table. Pretty. Yeah. A, a great run. Here we go. Heads up. I nice love heads up. Yeah. One versus one. How was your how was your uh, heads up game, LK back in, you know, uh, did you did you put a lot of time into heads up? Yeah, quite actually I played a lot of heads up sitting goals back in the days. Like a lot, but like it was a while ago. I didn't and I you know I also I also used to play uh when dog pork was like up and coming, I used to play like heads up with him like I think it was like one, two, and two, four, like two, four, no limit heads up with him. That was pretty, that was pretty, those were pretty fun days. Oh, Jack Ford bluffing that. here with the flush draw into the nutted eight, seven. Am I cool to just call? They also have a heart in their hand. Very interesting heads up hand here right out of the get go. Oh, wow. We're going to be pretty close to even Stevens after this hand. Let's see if Miko decides to give up. Maybe she does. Maybe she does. Yeah, that's a big pickup for Mimikul. Nine million now. This is the closest anyone has gotten to Miko in a long, long time. And we're pretty deep here, heads up. It could be over any hand, but we could also be in for one. Yeah, it might that's be a like while. I think, I think it might be a while, yeah. You mentioned Doug Polk. I was hanging out with Doug yesterday, actually, or the last couple of days here. 
in Texas. He's uh, Doug Polk has you know joined the operational side of the poker world. His retirement did not last long. He's got a his lodge down here. Isn't like almost everybody will retire. They only retire for a little bit, of, and then they come back. And that's yeah. when when I'm gonna run really bad. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna retire, and then I come back and win. Right? It's what everybody does. <laughs> then the the retired, the retired, the... like uh, like Fedor, he retired for like two months, and then he retired, and then he played like he won more than ever before. Like, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I can't even, you know, I'd love to tease those individuals who retire and came back, but I pulled a similar move in 2019 when oh, I really uh, thought yeah, I was yeah, done. Actually, I really I thought I was retired. done with the game. You know, you just got to, sometimes you got to hang it up and come back. You know, Michael Jordan left to go play some baseball, realized that he loved basketball, come back. Sometimes, sometimes you need that step away from the game uh, to realize how much you actually do love it. Who do you guys got? Does Memic cool here, man? Memicool versus Miko. Miko has been the overwhelming favorite for a long time. There you go. Here you go. Memicool. Relatively unknown on GG Poker. No Super Millions winning. Just 160K in caches. And tell you what, those numbers are going to be a lot bigger after today. Here we go. Here's been our man, the Gucci man. A little more experience, but still not a ton. Of, we're having kind of like two Super Millions rookies here almost. Miko. Versus Memicool. And notice as well, both of their. Oh, is it because what happened? Did Memicool three bet, three bet that 10? Yeah, raise three bet with the 7 4. Oh, wow. Finds the best pair. Ooh, that is a spicy card. Trips and flush draw. Memicool. This is, we might have a change in the chip lead after this hand. Yeah, Miko is definitely not folding here. Wow. 7 4 is yeah. good. Yeah, Miko is going to take the chip lead for sure. You're going to see a value bet. The front door flush comes in, but flop went check checks. So you can remove some of the flushes from Miko's range. Wow. I mean, we can see the cards. We know a check would be fantastic because 7 8 would probably bluff, but. There we go. Uh, it, and we have a new chip leader, ladies and gentlemen. It was not looking like Miko would ever relinquish the chip lead, but Memicool has the chip lead. Unbelievable run up from the short stack. And they're extremely deep now. It might. Uh... Yeah, and but tell why. you what, look at the look at the clocks. We got twenty four seconds for Miko, and we got twelve seconds for Mem. So those are the time. That's the time the players have to make decisions at the final table. Once they run out, uh, that's after they're 15, dead. They got they got but, fifteen seconds per hand, though, right? Fifteen seconds for the decision, and no, then five the, five then, seconds, five seconds, five, five and then yeah, five was, seconds. Right? I, I still I still live by the notion that maybe you know maybe they're just out of the tournament. Maybe they just maybe they're, they're eliminated. Their chips are taken out of play. You run out of time, good game. No, you get five seconds. You get five seconds to make a decision. And we've seen this before on the Super Millions final table, where both players heads up have the double zeros, and then it's kind of chaotic because you don't get to think about any decision, and it's just the chips fly back and forth. We could see that very shortly here. Couple comments in the chat saying they like the shot clock, but it should reset for heads up. I do love when they oh two big hands here. Ace King Ace 10 heads up is very, oh, very, wow, very yeah, strong. I think Memo is gonna feed the hand, right? Most of the time I would say yes. And you're gonna face the oh, big three bet. You're gonna face the four bet here. I think we're gonna see the four bet non all in. Yeah. 3.2 million. Oh my God. Am I the greatest LP? Wow. Am I the greatest? Yeah. Why don't I you should play? play. Why don't, you have the why don't I, don't I play? Why do I talk? I should play. Wow, cool. That's like, uh, 
that's snap. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you say, right? They code really fast because he's running out of time. It's like, yeah. fuck, what can I do? Do I code? Do I fold? Do I show? It's like... And now Ace King is not going to be folding on this board. Mm, I mean, he's not going to. If he gets check raise here, it's pretty brutal, man. Wow, check call. This is interesting. What a hand here. 8.8 .8 million in the middle. Yeah. Sorry, we're saying pretty insane. Like, if they had more, short, more time in the shot clock, I'm not sure if he was coding the S10 uh, pre flop. You just have no, you have no time to think about it. You know, you got your yeah. two seconds, then you got five seconds. It's such a big pod. Does check, check, check. Now he's, check. now he's gonna check and be happy. Right? Yeah, Ace King's gonna take the showdown. Miko, Miko four bet back. pot. Chip lead back. Chip lead back in a big way. You are right. Elki, can you give us maybe a reenactment of some of these emotes? <laughs> I like the running like this. <laughs> Those emotes are the best, actually. Oh my god, the GG artists yeah. are so good. So good. As uh, you know, I, I you know, I used the Elk emotes a lot, but since the Dan Blazarian emotes have been introduced, I gotta say I, I'm enjoying some of those as well. Luke Allen, are you two planning on playing the big tournament coming up on GG Poker? The $150 buy-in. Yeah, yeah, five the million guaranteed. Over the edition of the GG Master, like insane could be I'm one of the playing, best I'm online tournaments sure. of the year yeah if you guys didn't know gg poker is hosting a special tournament coming up on march 20th it is a hundred and fifty dollars five million guaranteed wow you say wow there's going to be a lot of re-entries right guess what you're not allowed you got one bullet if you're out you're done five million dollars 150 buy-in no re-entry one of the craziest scheduled tournaments that we've had in recent memory in the online world, a uh, must play, must play. Even if you're a small stakes player, you got to find the 150 bucks to flick in the 5 million guaranteed on GG Poker. I'm excited for that one. My goodness, that'll be a. Let's just win it, Elky. How about we win that one? Yeah, let's make it fun. Let's make the final table. That'll be sick. At least. Mama Cool hurting now a little bit after losing that four bet pot. Yeah, that was the biggest part of the tournament, right? Oh, uh, maybe not. Yep. Was the uh, seven eight against seven four bigger before? Or, I forgot. Must be one of the biggest. Definitely up there. Tournament. Huge flop for Miko. Queen high flush draw heads up is just a, an absurdly strong hand to have. Yeah, is he check raising it? Yep. That would get it done. Miko restoring his dominance. Gave up the gave up the chip lead there, but not for too long. Back to 15 million. Yeah, two like, two pretty like, what, strong just hands, few hands here. Just a few hands, I think. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mokuri has no time. It's like five seconds per decision now. Miko also short on the time as well. Every second precious. So we've seen this a couple shows in a row where people get heads up with the double zeros. Adds an interesting element to the game. They're going to check. Oh. oh, wow. Good value, but for Mimikur. Luke Allen, a couple of people asking in the chat do you get one bullet? Do you get one bullet per flight? No, it's one bullet total, right? One bullet total is what I was under the assumption, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. am not one confident. Bullet, one bullet, one bullet. I'm pretty confident this one bullet total. I almost don't even want to. I only want to say. I'm not sure. I bet. I bet. I bet with you, Kevin. I bet. That's it's it's that's what I thought, but I'm saying that with a, a complete lack of confidence because I'm not sure. Actually, I just all I know is going to show up and play the tournament and and hopefully win. Two really big hands here as well. Heads up. Definitely going to see a three bet. Six five suited. We peeling? Mm, it's a big size of the three bet. Does wow. peel. This wow, could be it. The dream flop. That's a dream flop. Uh, yeah, that could be it. 
double gutter and sure. the flush draw, and I don't think eight's plan to escape either. This could be it. Definitely not Six five of diamonds. He might just score with eights. And he might get away depending on what the run, run out is. Check call. Wow. Eight's kind of excited about that turn card. Five million in the yeah. mo middle. Defining moment here. We all in with the six five of diamonds? Feels like a good hand to shove. There it is, yes. all of it. Mema cool. Oh wow. Calls. Yep. This is it. 14 million in the middle. 14 million. What a good spot for the pocket eights. Is it a diamond? Is it a four? Seven, it is neither. Eights, eights holding. Uh... Massive pot for Memicool as they take over the massive chip league. Biggest pot of the tournament. Yeah. Wow. Miko had a chance to win it all there, and the action is going to continue as both players flop top pair, which heads up is a rarity. Man, we got the storyline of Miko dominating the entire final table. Has hit some turbulence here, but had a ch had twenty five percent chance to win there. Had a one in four chance just to be the super Actually, it champion. Actually, was for him, right? Because he blocked all the yeah. eights. Oh wow! And uh, Memo could now, cool. make, which makes two pair. Oh, it's gonna be a chop, but probably gonna get paid chop, as but... well. Especially with the turn check. I mean, Jack Seven is just yeah. going to feel a little underrepped. Probably, but. Yeah, I think Miko's going to pay this turn. off. It's pretty up. bad turn for Miko, though. I mean, mm, I don't know. Yeah, good. Wow. It's tough to, I mean. <laughs> good Jack fold is an understatement there. Heads up. That Jack is an kind of sucks on that fold. turn. On that That was pretty much one of the worst turns for him, though. Right? I mean, because if if Memo could have a ten, he's not. I don't think he's betting the river. Oh wow! Memo cool. Memo cool. Check raising. Seven's not going to go anywhere. It's a pretty good ball to check raise, but wow, pretty sick. Turn. Loving some of these hands here. Heads up! What a turn! Power again now after after check raising the flop. I think. But Miko is not going. In. Oh, small bet. It's gonna go for a double. Queen check. nine of check shove. Are we all in the queen nine of clubs? There wow. it is. It's actually tough for Miko to call now. It's really scary, like scary line, right? There he it is. He does make the call. And this could be it. 30% 30. to win the tournament for Mimicool. Queen seven or a club. Is it there? It is Break. not. Wow. That it is again. not. Wow. It. <laughs> and then Chip Crazy back, and forth heads back up, yeah. to Mixo. Man. Winning hard. Both players have had their chance to win. Albeit they both did get it in with you know 25 and 30% equity. Here we go. Even again, what a back and forth here. They're playing for over a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars almost exactly. Yeah, sick battle. Madness in the heads up street. Both players with no time really to make decisions either. Five six is bluffing and gets there versus the queen seven. Makes the straight on the river. Big bet. Pot. I think Miko's going to find a photo here. Miko. I bet you they wish they had some more time to think about it. Three, two, one. Yeah. Folds. Some excellent, excellent, excellent folds for so Miko no at this final table. Anybody. No more time for anybody, right? Five seconds yeah. per decision. Guess what? We got 10.5 million versus 10.5 million. Almost a dead race here. Uh, 
Alki, you're the man, dude. Go with Into defense the nine five off. Nine five off is pretty confident defend, right? Yeah, it's definitely he, on the on the loser side. On the loser side, let's say. <laughs> I, I I trust your heads up slightly more than uh, mine. I mean, I'm not, that I, I haven't played for a while that much as I used to be, right? But it's still quite. It's hard to play. Heads up is is tricky. It's a, it's its own. You know, I'm a tournament player, yeah. and uh, I always like. It's a very underrated. Very underrated for NCC play you play every hand. You play every hand. You get in there every every time. It's just like very exciting to play yeah. to watch as well. Luke Allen, I agree. We've had some very exciting heads of hands so far. Both players having some really interesting hands in certain spots. They're playing really aggressive too. Memo could really ramp up mm -hmm. their aggression. It was like playing like uh, more conservative on the entire side up until that's up. And then as soon as it started, it's just like super aggressive. Adrian Petras says winner prediction. I'm going to say Miko finds a way to win. That's where I'm leaning. That would be my guess. Two pretty good hands here as well. Ooh, it feels like they're both making a lot of pairs, which is, it's very tough to make a pair in No Limit Hold'em, but it feels like heads up, they've always like both connected, which makes for a very exciting viewing experience. K9 hey, just might... loves life. Check, check raise. raise. He's, 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 he loves to check raise, uh, to mix it up and check raise with value and bluff, so. Remember cool he's clean, obviously continuing. With, especially, um, with a, especially with the ASF clubs, right? all the back doors and to pair now. I'm gonna continue betting. Think big, right? Yeah, two million yeah, is the number I was thinking. Ace Queen just with a snap fold. It's really well, nice. Really, 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 really nice fold. fold. Yeah. I think a lot of us, me included, would just be a little stickier with Ace Queen, but Memicool with the excellent fold. A little bit of separation now, 12 million to 8 million. As the wee hours over there in Thailand. I think I think Elki has passed 4 a.m. Guys, what a legend. Yeah, Elki so making I it happen. Have no way, man. <laughs> I used to play 30 hours straight. I can come in for three hours. It sounds pretty easy now. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bit of a, it's, I love that you're doing I'm a bit of a diva when it comes to my sleep and like uh, my, what's the word they use? Circadian rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Mine is totally fucked anyways. I gave up a long time ago, don't I? Uh, it's probably not optimal. I mean, it's actually better to have a fairly consistent sleep schedule, but... Tonight, I'm going to pull a long one. I'm going to play some, some, some cash games in here in Texas a little bit later than I normally would, maybe 2, 3 a.m., Is there club play? Uh, are they open all night in Texas? Twenty four seven, baby. Twenty four seven. Yeah. Twenty four seven. That's how you. That's how you 20, do it. Nice. Dude, Elky, what they're doing here, man? You, there's no rake. There's you when you win the pot, yeah, you pay a time fee. You sit your ass in the chair, and everyone pays per hour. Oh, and that's the pot good. Yeah, is yeah, never good. raked. When you win, I've never seen this before, and I'm losing my mind because I used to play in Canada. That, no, the players, and, they do that a lot in Vegas too, and they do that a lot. They do it at, yeah. uh, at Kings in, in Europe also in some games. Yeah, it's the way, man. It's, like it's, it's the first time I've really it's much experienced better. it. For sure, it's much better. Yeah, because yeah. even if you end up playing the same, it just doesn't feel. It's just the game is much faster too. Right? Yeah, and I just I I'm like a loose player. I like the action in cash games, and I always just got punished in Canada for playing too many pots because I'm the one getting raked. It just benefits the nits, right? And the fact that everyone uh, yeah. pays the same time fees, it makes the game way better. What stakes, Kevin? Uh, two five plays really big here. Uh, the straddle's almost always on. Uh, I might, I might go ten twenty tonight though and play. I, I want to play one session at ten twenty and and mix it up. Oh, trip trip jacks here for Miko. I 
I like that lead. It's nice. The four seven not folding for that size. He's got to lead again now, eh? Yeah, I think the Jack Seven going to seek value. Big playing. The guys are playing really well for how for how little time they have to make their decisions. Memicool's just never paid off either. Just finding really, really good folds where some people might be a little more sticky. Elke, here's a question. What's the largest cash game pot you've ever played in your life? Mm, uh, I think pretty big. I think uh, 600K. Pretty big. Actually. Oh, It's like I was playing... a. Uh, Two, four, one, two hundred, four hundred, but there was like one K and two K straddle every every hand in Bobby's room. Mm. Like, actually, there was there was like the only so the only time I played with like Dan Brizian, Kenny Tran, Rick Solomon, uh what was there? Andrew Robor. That's uh that's a that's, that's a fun game. game. Yeah, yeah. I, I won his King Sweet against <laughs> I guess King Sweet against Queen's one in pre flop too. Oh, you won! You won the six hundred K pot. I won! I won! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good. Good. That, that makes the story a little more Pretty enjoyable. Nice. And you know, we don't. They don't show the. We don't show the hand, and uh, this king of spades and uh, the nuts on the turn. So. Uh, <laughs> Sick. Pretty, who, pretty lucky, who is that? Pretty lucky against uh, Rick Solomon. Oh, you beat Rick Solomon yeah, in a six hundred K flip. It's, a, yeah, it's pretty big, yeah, but I mean, the star, it was like two K Strider, right? And he was playing crazy and starting every hand, so it's like mm -hmm. everybody was like pretty wide and like. Like I raise and three cores and he squeezed the straddle like he's king suited, you know what? So happy to get in. <laughs> but yeah, Queen's pretty sick. That is super sick. Miko expanding the chip lead here a little bit. Mema cool. I mean, but you gotta just be so happy already. Obviously, you want to win, but you have 330k locked up after coming in as the short stack on a final table that had some big poker names yeah, for sure. But, and but you forget about that, Chidwick. you know that it's like recency bias. Like, I mean, now that you add up, you just still can't it. So you're still gonna be disappointed when you when you lose, right? Like if you were told at the beginning of the final table, you're gonna get second, you're like, okay, very nice. But now that now that you was chip leader for a while, it's like fuck. <laughs> you're still gonna get disappointed when you win. When you lose, sorry, I feel you, man. Like, especially when he was like one card away, where right? he had like what thirty percent with the queen nine of uh, clubs. Yeah, they both had a like thirty percent chance to win. When you had like one card away and like thirty percent chance to win, it's still gonna, it's still gonna get to that point. <laughs> Blinds are up, hundred k, two hundred k. So Memo cool. So playing thirty three bigs effective. Who Gal says GG is the cleanest looking poker software out there. Anyone else agree? I I don't think that's a subject that is widely debated. Looks fantastic, man. Looks so good. Oh, why? Limp, did he limp? Limp shove? Wow, sick. Limp, range First limp, shove. Wow, that's pretty sick. First limp with A8. And Memukul uh, took the bait and raised the free line off, but bad timing. Now we have really seen that Miko open up the chip lead. Three to one advantage. I do agree with you, Luke. I do agree with you. I think it looks yeah. the best. Shout out to the GG software team. And they're always in the lab. They're always like trying to like ask for player feedback, make it even better. Yeah, there's so many updates every every time too, right? They update like every week. It's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. still waiting for those Kmart emojis. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I, I always throw that out there, but you know, I think there's uh four or five individuals that might be in the queue ahead of me. But uh Maybe in a couple of years. Well, I mean, cool with the bluff. Nice here. bluff. Made, yeah. Nice yeah. Cool's made some really sharp folds, but they've also released hands. I mean, that's just like, it's a really tough spot uh, with that hand. Really but six, that's a really sick spot, though. Yeah. For sure. Especially because Miko, he likes to bar and continue on his bluff, right? So if you. Pull out yeah. turn, you're just gonna have to call the river. You're never gonna improve. It's just fucking brutal, right? Such a brutal spot. It's like you might have the best hand. He's he has like millions out, million outs if he's behind, and you're gonna have to call another bar with zero chance of improving. It's like 
Ooh, check raise, 10 high with the gut shot. Now you have jack five here, middling hand. Whoa, Does peel. Wow. Ooh, wow. wow. That is going to make Mimikul feel a lot better. Turning the two pair. Oh, Miko going for it. Honestly, on most turns, this would probably work from what we've seen. But obviously, the five changes everything. Wow. Oh. And he hits. Every, and he hits. Getthere.com. I mean, this is sick. Yeah, this is Jack five sick. makes two pair. The 10 7 makes yeah, this rate sure. on the well, river. Now, now Mimikul is. Yeah, that's like. And, and kind of impressive snap fold from the two pair as well. Yeah. And it, now it's, it's hard. It's hard to think on this. Uh, he basically doesn't beat anything anymore. That was I'm a sure. nasty heads up. I'm not sure like the, what kind of bluffs he can have. I'll tell you what. An hour ago, it looked like Miko was going to wrap this thing up. We saw, you know, some turbulence. The Memicool took the chip lead, but we are again have returned to the stage of. Looks like Miko is going to be our. Super Millions yeah. champion. I mean, it's not official yet, but oh. we're on the verge of greatness. Oh, but... bad time to have Ace Five. Wow, oh, Limp, sick. Limp trap could be all of it. Nico, chance to win the tournament, does have the worst hand in bad shape with the Ace Five. Searching for a three. Oh, there wow. it is. Going dead, right? Uh, I mean, dead to a five, five for five a chop. This is it. This is it. This is it. Miko is our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, game, Miko is your champion. 428,000. A plate clap, a golf clap. There you go, man. What a battle. Three yeah. handed specifically. Well, six, six final table. Like, Miko was like really uh, enjoyable to watch. For sure. That was war. That was war. Miko, absolutely amazing performance. I thought Miko, Mimikul, and Pikachu just had a really, really strong showing from all those players. $428,000. And wow, good game. You see Chidwick there, Andrews Nemeth, the killer. He got fourth place. There you go. Wow, Miko did get the job done. You know, gave up the chip lead, but came back strong. A lot of top pairs, a lot of hands, but also some really, really good play from Miko. And he's yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of sick plays from everyone, champion. from Miko, from uh, Mimokul, and from the uh, OP Pikachu. So pretty, pretty sick plays from everyone, actually. Like, really, really good final table. Yeah, it was super, super nasty. What a great final table. Alki, I, you know, it's great to talk to you again. It's been years since awesome, Kevin, yeah. chat. Thanks. So, yeah, Thanks it's for really fun to chat. Millions, man. I'm very glad to have been here tonight. Absolutely. Everybody in the YouTube chat, you guys make the show as well. Awesome community we're developing here. Thank you so much for tuning in every Tuesday. Come back next Tuesday. Before you leave, hit the thumbs up button. Sub to the channel as well. Every Tuesday, we're going to bring on an awesome poker guest talk, poker strategy, talk life. Talk adventures, Elke. What's uh, what's the best place for people to follow you? Where what social uh, media are you most active on, uh, on right yeah, now? Yeah, Twitter at Elke Poker and Twitter, Instagram at Elke Poker is uh, the best. Yeah. Give Elke a follow. He posts a lot of awesome right. lifestyle. I've been following Thanks, him Kevin. for a long time. Yeah. Cheers, Elke. Thank you for coming right, on. Man. You're the best, See you soon, dude. guys. Yeah. See you soon, dude. As for me, I'm enjoying Texas for a couple more days. I'm going to be playing some cash games tonight. Feel free to follow me on social media as well. Kevin Rob Martin on Twitter or Instagram. And that's it. Miko's our champion. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to the production team in Korea. We'll be back next week. I'm your host, Kevin Martin. We'll see you next Tuesday. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.